I I was attacked last night by some creature. Yeah, we, we can, can offer you assistance getting you to the hold. <laughs> we can offer you assistance getting you to the hold if that's all right. Uh, I will. That would be much appreciated, adventurers. I I pull out I, my gun and I shoot uh, at the band. No, 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 Kevin! Stop! <laughs> hold on for a second. Kevin, hold on. <laughs> Kevin, you can make an attack roll if you no, want. No, no, no! I dive at Kevin to stop him. Uh. Okay, you're right next to me. Make a dexterity. You do hit. It's gonna be that way, is it? All right. <laughs> he coughs up blood. All right, boys. Snaps his finger, and you see, and you see four more people come out of the trees. All right, look what you and got. I want, I want, I want, and I want everyone to roll initiative. One, as as you go for the killing blow, uh, you mistakenly mistake the woman on your shoulder and her leg <laughs> for the bandit, and you you swing your hammer around and accidentally hit the woman's leg, breaking it even more. Oh, oh, my oh she screams in pain. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> All right, I'll explain. So the woman you see being carried by our dwarf here, we found her kind of collapsed inside of a road, claiming she had been attacked by some monster. Um, he looks at the woman and goes, oh, "Of course, of course, medic!" And uh, a couple minutes later, you see two men with a stretcher I need come out. Need a medic bag. <laughs> as as, as you're feeling the pulse, though, you hear some rumbling in the bushes. Oh, so that's I pull my gun out. And as you pull your gun out, that's where we'll end the tale. For, okay. for the ready. <laughs> Am ready. How have I still not found the bar? I found like everywhere here. Bar? Let me just like look for it. I don't know where it is. <laughs> my thing crashed. <laughs> oh, you're, you crashed now? Okay. No, oh, my OBS crashed when I tried to add in uh -oh. Discord as a game audio. I love that a cheese. Well, that the is not the bar bar. is Hold on two seconds. I'm just like looking for it. In... I'm just going to let you know. I've been looking for it for a I minute. did do a bit of yeah. farting. Uh, cool. I only poo poo farted Why? for the good of humanity. <laughs> Why? Why are you doing this to me today, computer? I fucking. I don't know what the <laughs> fuck is wrong. James attacking the guards. No, I'm attacking you. Damn, you. it's a yeah. 1v1. Yo, that one v one on hold. Canadian, just, I will make your entire. Just, I just will one team, guys, like get up there. Well, we might have a fight night. Wait, we might we, get. Wait, do we, we have might... a? Does the music button here actually work? Yeah, yeah she I works. Can, I can, she yeah, works. I can set music All and. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. Oh, the music button. Yeah, yeah, in the Discord. Yeah. Fucking yeah, Christ, Discord. dude! Hold on. Oh, Why do we God. have a? Wait, uh, it's. No, no. The my personal bot doesn't work. Yeah, I know that one doesn't work. Where's the other music bot then? What? I can make a unbelievable. Oh work. my god! What oh wait, Me this? Six, Me Six has also music capabilities now. Premium. That's I don't I think so. Pay. Is it? It yeah, it is. It is. Okay. Why is this crashing? It never used to be, but it isn't. Like what the fuck? Give me, give me like two minutes, guys. I'm very sorry. <laughs> Where's our music bot? Wait, I don't remember having another music bot. <laughs> Don't worry, I I have one. It's okay. Oh, you're inviting one. Please don't. No, I no, haven't. Don't. I haven't invited one. I'm staring at it right now. What? I don't need to invite one. I personally wouldn't anyway. I don't have one custom coded, and most of them don't work. I'm glad we started an hour earlier than what we would have. This technical difficulty would not. I. <laughs> this was the plan starting time. Mm hmm. It was, uh, it was, uh, 17 minutes. Uh, we're 17 minutes a bit too late, my friend. Oh, God. I don't know how to get a heavy tank. I thought it was possible for that Roblox game. So you're oh. opening a heavy tank in this. There's no heavy tanks in this. What are you talking about? Hello? Precisely why you're not getting one. I wasn't planning to. <laughs> you say that. I know you were.
It was in the assets. Wait a second, I thought you honestly were going to say something different. <sighs> so I feel like monkey is going to be kind of good for scouting. That's about it. And maybe distraction. <laughs> you just tell your monkey to grapple some poor dude? <laughs> <laughs> He just climbs on their back and just starts fucking tapping like their face. Just fucking... Oh, that poor dude. <laughs> just tell him, hey, go steal that jailer's keys without him knowing. What? What did I ever do about you? Why you everything that was—it wasn't been good enough. He he ha. Oh my god, I can upgrade walls to level 10. Fucking kill me, please, bro. Okay, so hopefully uh, hello. that fixes things for however god knows fucking long. Just wanna play D D without this fucking crashing on me. That would be so nice. Door stuck. Door oh, stuck. Well, okay. Hopefully that fixes it. My computer is like getting hot, so I had to fucking. Maybe you should blow a fan. <laughs> yeah, that's what I did. Maybe that fixes it. I'm. If it is, like, definitely, I'm just gonna be paying money to have it I've... professionally cleaned because I apparently didn't clean it well enough. I have twelve fans out of my computer right now. Two on, my, two on my graphics card, one on my CPU, nine externals. Damn. Yeah, I don't have that many fans. I wish I did. My case sucks. I need to get a new case. I have two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, Why do you guys need that many fans? Eleven. I think I have eleven. You have eleven fans? I have twelve. Jesus. <laughs> I just kind of, because three in the radiator, uh, two in the GPU. Oh, actually, I have 12. Never mind. 
I might have four on my GPU actually. I'm not sure. I think One, I only no, saw two, but there might be two layers. Look. Two GPU, three radiator, three front, one back. Give me a second, uh, I'm gonna look. Uh, oh. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, it's only two on my GPU, but it does have okay, one. It seems module that you don't have. to not be heating up as much, so like. Yeah. I, I do have only two fans on my GPU, but it can right. be water cooled if I had water cooling. So, no? I, Wa no water cooling? No bitches? I don't need. I, well, I, I probably I should have water cooling. I wanted to do water cooling for this one, but like I fucking, I just, I didn't have the money at the time to like fully invest into water cooling. But like on this next build, I'm definitely gonna be water cooling. I probably I spent, should. I spent be just cooling. over four hundred dollars. And mine and I have water cooling. Probably I, more like five hundred dollars. Oh wait, no. I what am I fucking talking about? I spent two grand on. It. Sorry. Yeah, I, I think I my spent, total that, I spent my... about that. But like the water cooling for my around my area was just like an extra like two hundred bucks, and I was just like I couldn't afford it at the time. Yeah. So I think the total price of my PC right now is somewhere around thirty five hundred. That's not bad. No, it's really not. Like for a PC nowadays, like that's it's not bad. And with a thirty, what do you have a thirty sixty? 3060 and i7 9th gen. Yeah, dude, like straight up. Like that's that's not bad cost for for a build. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not at all. When the people say impressive. <laughs> they they could they could have charged you so much for that. <laughs> oh, I know. What did you well, get the graphics card for? Uh I paid Okay, so I paid about 530 for the card itself. Then I paid uh -huh. an extra then I paid an extra 100 for a five, uh 3 year warranty and then like shipping and taxes. Damn, they were charging us like a grand when they first fucking came out. Oh yeah, that's Almost. why I waited for so long. Cause I'm like, yeah, oh, I have a friend who got a uh thirty sixty for four hundred. Yeah, that's I, I, disgusting. Dude, I was looking like, hey, wait, crypto market's crashing. Everyone's selling their GPUs. I could probably get a new one for dirt cheap. Yeah, and my was, my pair. No, at that point because GPUs had started like popping up back. I wanted to get a new computer, but because of the current uh fad that was going on i couldn't get one because so many people were buying gpus it was all sold out in canada's computers and shit so i had don't to wait computers please don't it's actually awful i have dealt with them so much and it's legitimately oh my God, awful it's yeah my uh just stop using it yeah my cousin uses um canada's computers and he used it to get parts for me dude canada computers is so bad it's... Sometimes we might go to Newegg if we need like cases or starting? something. But I go yeah. to Newegg all the time. Yes. Chatter. Oh, I'm. What did Chatter send me in two seconds? Okay, it's a meme. I'll look at it later. It's um... a meme. I'll look at it later. <laughs> yeah. What? Still trying to find Dragon Ball comes. I just, 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 just want to D and D and like not have my computer just fucking crash twelve times. <laughs> She's so nice. Sarah, I'm literally dance default dancing on you right now. Default <laughs> dancing on you. I do default dancing in turn. Damn, bro. I can't. I, I can't click my. Ah. There we are. You can click your character. You got. You can move your character. Okay, I'm good. I'm higher than you are. I swear this map is dun, different. Dun, 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 watch this. Dun, 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 there might be a few more NPCs, this. but like it hasn't changed. I swear. I swear it's. The main gate just not here. <laughs> what? The main, gate's there. the main gate's still there. The main gate's there. What do you mean? Yeah. Are you okay? Oh, it's... Yeah. No. Died yet? <laughs> no, I have not died. <laughs> I have not died. I will remember that. I will remember that Canadian. <laughs> I remember. I will remember what you said. Far away. Oh yeah. All right. So on the last RP, Kevin, on the last episode of D and D, you all were traveling to the city of Ember Ember Rock Ember Rockhold to talk to the mayor about a potential quest that has been springing up on the local. Uh, adventuring boards within the ad, within the within within the adventuring guild, and uh, along your way, you encountered some bandits, which turned out to be uh, lycanthrope, uh, some lycanthrope, and another uh, using some very nasty 
uh, necronomic, necronomic, necronomic spells. Sure. Um, you defeated them as you uh, tied one up and uh, traveled off to the next town, where you had a had a little shopping spree and uh, kind of some events in town. Um, Canadian wound up from finding himself in the midst of being asked out on a date by a very nice little young lady in the magic shop. Uh, <laughs> nice lady own. in the ma magic shop? Mm -hmm. Yep. Totally. <laughs> uh, totally uh, not a lolly. <laughs> I only got a go out, got a gig at the local at the local bar at the Red Salamander to uh, play there later tonight. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> and then what happened to Cheddar? What happened to Cheddar? I don't know. I Cheddar, followed, Cheddar followed Canadian around. And I see. Was he, just kind of like he saw the whole like, thing, and now he's teasing Canadian. Hey, you gotta go now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tease the uh, fucking. Uh, we don't need to talk about me. Let's just get straight to the yeah. point. <laughs> uh, Kevin, new character. Nah, yeah. <laughs> into the woods alone, and. uh and now is face to face with a rumbling bush. Rumbling bush. Can I do one of you take? <laughs> Hold on, where's Kevin? I want to uh, yeah, we'll start off with having you roll me a perception check. A perception check? My specialty! <laughs> uh, hold on. Give me a second. Let me see my perception first. Uh, it was a d20, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Okay, perception, 11, and then plus my perception, which is 1. Hold on, L. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I know I had something that I have up my sleeve for... Never mind. All right, go ahead. It's a... Uh, so 12? 12, um... yes. All right. So as, as, the, as the bush uh, rum, rummages and... Uh, you are sitting next to this dead man, uh, next to you, uh, out hops a little bunny. Oh, for fuck's sakes, I knew it! <laughs> um, oh, fuck, I know what you are. <laughs> As bunny. The, the bunny just kind of starts to hop away. Okay, uh, so, can I take, I, I'll take the initiative to, uh, Get the fuck away. <laughs> to hide in the bushes. <laughs> uh, go ahead and make me a stealth check. A stealth check. Okay. D20 plus my thing. Uh, unless I roll very horribly, I should be okay. 12 and then plus my, bon uh, my skill bonuses, 17, which is 10. You rolled a 17. You... Yeah. You see, but stealth, uh, stealth adds also my proficiency bonus and my things, right? Stealth is just your your stealth bonus. My stealth, yeah, my stealth bonus. So ten. Ten. Yeah. yeah. I a seventeen. Yeah, I rolled a seventeen and I add my ten. You plus ten, so yeah. twenty-seven. So yeah, you're really stealthy. Over the next course of like three minutes. I don't um, think I even needed to roll the, that. You see the bunny? Um. You you're very camouflaged. Like it's it's like uh it's like Naruto holding up the fucking clock with Jiraiya. You're just like you're camouflaged. Um wait, hold on, you, give you, me a second. Um you I'm... see No problem. Uh never mind, and go ahead. Alright. If you want if you, Kevin, want to switch to the mountain forest uh map. What? Oh, the mountain map? Oh. Yeah, it says mountain forest under Mage Tower. Oh, Field. wow, that would have been handy when I when I had to observe my surrounding. Yep. <laughs> would have been real handy, uh, my friend. Can we follow? Or, yeah, can if we you guys follow? want to follow to watch, you can. Oh, what's uh, that? It's mountain. Mount, it, mountain. Mountain forest. Mountain forest. Yeah, too. it's just it's just Kevin out here, so like... Yeah. But it would have been real it. handy to know that. Oh wait, there's an opening, uh, open area over there. We'll probably shouldn't fuck with that. <laughs> On GM tools, uh, player permissions, Kevin. All right. 
Where is you, me? Okay, there it is. You are, yep, you already found you. Okay, so right behind you is... I also I also uh, am a wood elf, so I can attempt uh, attempt to hide even when I'm lightly obscured in full foliage, heavy rain, falling snow, mist, and other natural phenomenons. Okay, um, the bunny the bunny gets about five six feet away from the man, mm -hmm. like off to off to the right before you see a vine whip out from the the bush, uh, like covering it ab above the tree. It whips out. And grabs the bunny and tears it in two. Okay, okay, time to fucking leave. As, I... as, you, as you see this tree spring to life with whipping vines all around, its bark opens up it, uh, into a jagged teeth. Uh, and, and you see mm -hmm. a very large carnivorous plant. Okay, Just I, I think it's time for me to take my leave. <laughs> Start to slowly inch toward the man's body. I mean, I honestly, he's dead already, so why would I save a dying man? Um, Would I be able to slowly back away from this situation and run the other direction? Uh, Stealthily, of course. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're pretty stealthy. Uh... Go, just roll me a flat d20. Flat d20. Wait, with no bonuses or anything? No bonuses, you just send it. Bruh! <laughs> Bruh! <laughs> as, you're, as you're sneaking away, um, you're trying to stay within the, the shadows and um, the, I can, I'm and the, still, and the, yeah. and the bushes mm -hmm. as, as you trip over a vine. Oh, yeah, of course. Oh, it's always tripping over something. Aha. All right. All right. Um, so I need to go find myself flint, and I need to go find myself uh, a wood. Vine starts to wrap around your leg. I cut it. Go ahead and make an attack roll. Big money. And then plus my, plus my thing, which is um, a plus five. Yeah, you will hit. You'll yes. hit the vine. Just roll a simple damage. Go ahead and roll your damage. Okay. Uh, it's it's not this. No, hold on. No. It is a D4, so time to hit get up. Four. At four. You cut the vine in in half as your legs becomes free. For fuck's um, sakes! Get off me! Starts to turn towards your area. It uh. And you start to run away again as you make it away. Okay. Woo! Okay, so... You see, you see as, you're, as you get away, you see vines. Five or six vines all shoot out from where the plan is and impact the ground where you were. Okay, so if it... Okay, so I'm perceptionist uh, at what is going to happen. So I'm going to ready my rapier in case it launches towards me i will slash all of the goddamn uh it, vines that it seems to be stationary okay then i just know. run away man i just run away all right. you head back to now all right or are you just what are you doing i i take note of the area i take yeah i take note of the area and i get the hell away okay all right so um while i'm here so there's <laughs> torch there's lights around me right yeah, as you head back to the head back to the main road, it takes about five six minutes to head back the way you came. Okay. Um, so I'm going to. Is there is there happening any like any wandering travelers coming around? You know. You don't uh, make me a perception check as you get out to the road. Perception check. Ooh, -wee, is that fun? Seventeen plus my 17? one. You see, you see one or two travelers kind of like going both ways. They have donkeys and. Oh, okay. So can I run up? I need to run up to them. I need to run up to them. Okay. You you run up to a a fat stubby old old man carrying a carrying his like rope or harness to the to the donkey cart. Okay. <clears throat> Hello, good sir. Um, so may I um ask of you a favor? I will pay very well. His, his face lights up. Oh, you pay me. Uh, uh, what? 
I need you to deliver a message to um a select few people. It should be um uh a woman some somewhere uh, I think she is performerous, like she likes to perform places. You might find her near the local bar. There's also another el uh an elf that's kind of like me, but he has a hood uh darkish um reddish dark. I uh, can't miss him. He's always like he looks like a cult uh person. He, he looks like he's trying to listen best he can he's rubbing his his ears and like and out can you do uh, and there's also weapon. a dwarf that um a dwarf he has a helmet can i don't think there's many dwarfs um do you know ember rock hold uh, i was just coming from there can you head back there and deliver the me uh, a de deliver a message to them tell them to come to this exact location um what what, what so I'm looking for a dwarf. A dwarf, a, an elf, and a, a barb of some sort. Just a, a female barb. Do, do they barb? have names? Uh, bro, I'm looking for a barb. <laughs> like, a performer. Just a performer. Someone performing a... I don't know. Just try to find a uh, dwarf and an elf. That elf that with a dark hood or something. Uh, reddish, sort of. And a dwarf that is, um, miss, he ha looks like he has an iron, like a prosthetic arm or some sort. He, what? he seems to be, he looks a little confused as he goes, uh. Okay, so do I have uh, a picture of them? Do I have a picture of our, my party? No, that, that, uh, that would exist. help, but yeah, you, you do not currently have a picture of them. Okay, so that's the best I can describe it. So either uh, this man gets to the... <laughs> So, uh, how, how how much are you offering for me to turn around? Well, how much is these? Uh, how much is the expense of this? Um, of this diversion of your path? Mm. And he like rubs his chin there for a minute. Ten gold. Ten gold? Here, mate. Here, my friend. I'll do you one better. Uh, thirty pieces of gold. His face lights up and, uh, come on, Matilda, we got a job to do. And he starts to slowly turn around and wobble back to the town <laughs> after taking the money and okay. shoving it in his. Uh, he better, he better do it. I will find his motherfucking ass if he does not. I have a clear, I have a photo, photographic memory of his fucking face, and I will hunt him to the end of time. Also, you s okay? Somebody left. Um... <laughs> Kevin, what you should have done is tell him to walk into the forest in that general direction, and if he sees no, I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do something. Okay, so okay, Kale. Now I'm going to uh, grab a branch off of one of these like uh, trees. Like grab a loose branch or something. All right. There's okay. many. Loose branches, you go and. Well, I pick one that is that is thick, that is thicker than the rest and longer. All right. Thick and long. Thick and long. Roll me a strength check. You find a nice, nicely sized one. <laughs> nicely sized one. Strength check. He says, "This is Where bad." Is one? Nineteen, 19 minus uh, one. It takes you takes you uh, just a few minutes just to wiggle it back and forth and and really crack uh the wood in half okay and uh, now yeah, you, you i need to now tear some of my clothing okay. into strips it's gonna be the bag of clothes all right you start <laughs> ripping your you do you have any clothes in your bag or anything yeah i have common clothes clothing. all right yeah you take out some linen sheet clothing and start ripping it in in pieces Okay, yep. I wrap it around the stick uh, at the edge, like top edge. Yep. And then I stick it in the fire near me and make a torch. Right. One of the uh, things, as the, as the uh, linen just burns away within a couple minutes. Bruh. Yeah. I expect I'm not sure what you expected. Yeah. <sighs> Okay, so I need something. I need like a kind of materialistic thing. I need to make a torch of some sort. Because I want to burn that forest down. 
Okay, what? buddy. Okay. okay, buddy. <laughs> I had a plan to burn the forest down, right, but I so, think um, I might have to so return. Cheddar and I uh, start asking around to try and find where the mayor is. Yeah. Um. <coughs> do you want to go up to anyone? As uh, yeah. anyone specific or like? Well, we were by the uh, group of guards around. that Kevin was talking to. Before. Oh, of course. Yeah. Um. So, you uh, walk up to. Uh, small pack of guards, maybe like three guards, just all huddled together, just like mumbling to each other. Um, and they, they turn to you and, oh, hello, citizen. What can I help you with today? Uh, hello. Uh, me and my friend here, we were summoned here by the mayor, I believe. Yes, the mayor. Uh, the mayor we summoned you. We looks you up and down. Just, are you not going to return to their board? We are. We are. I'm just sitting on your uh, your thing because uh, I just want to like switch back and forth constantly. Yeah. Um. I will switch back to Amber. Um. The mayor. He he is uh as he points like directly behind you. Uh, he is in this this very very large uh central housing inside the main city. Uh. He he resides in in the castle. As he points like, literally just right here? Yeah, directly behind you, you see a very large staircase, maybe twenty feet high, um, leading up to a very luxurious looking house on the Pinnacle Hill leading into the city. Okay, thank you. Well, of have course. A good day. Thank you very much. I wish you wish you the best adventure. All right, after this, I want to go back to the shop because I haven't bought anything yet. Damn. All right. <clears throat> Shopping day for cheddar. Um, yeah, and, and as, you, as you go up to the, the gate, uh, there are two guards standing by. Um, what business do you have with the mayor today? Hello, we are adventurers responding to a summons. Oh, very well. As he, as he opens the door and uh, walks in with you, um let's, let's go. My monkey is still here, by the way. Yep. <laughs> yeah, your monkey yeah. is just like on your shoulder, chilling. Yeah. He's how, the, how the guard just accepts what you say blindly <laughs> with no proof. <laughs> <laughs> we look enough like adventure. You, you do you do have a like a scroll from the adventure board post, like oh. that says like please help. Town in down in danger. Uh, it gets very very vague descriptions of like what the request actually is. Also, but the mayor the has requested. A long, does this time in the city count as a long rest for us? Yeah. Um, it's just about nighttime, so like it just like after. I'd say by the time you hit the bar, you could it would count as like a short rest because you've been here for about four hours. I do. It it all depends on like how long he wants to perform, but his performance could count as a short rest if he's not like enduring like physical activities like stage, stage like stage jumping and uh, <laughs> but <laughs> uh, uh, oh, is, two seconds. I'm just finding a, a noble this uh <laughs> no no it can roll no. for to get to the door <laughs> you no <nah. laughs> you gave it to him because he doesn't have any reason to fucking like, go unless you give him the gold I'm bullying Shadow right now Probably be more than a few minutes you're waiting. You'd be waiting for a little bit. I bet. Shadow, you're getting bonked you, by You purple. traveled half hour outside of town, so it'd, it'd be at most an hour sitting out there for both travels way back. Bruh. How do I stop this? How do I stop this message? I don't want this
I just realized. <laughs> I just realized Canadians are human. <laughs> yeah. And You're Kevin wrong with your description. Elf. <laughs> Bruh. Damn. Racism. That was very racist. Now that was extremely racist. Kevin. God damn it. Why is it like fucking taken off the top every time I move a character? Fucking A. Yeah, so I he leads you throughout many luxurious looking it. halls with very many tapestries on the wall, um, fine silk carpets, and he leads you to a, a door uh, with gold inlay and some silver uh, like swirls inside the door, and he opens it up to a what looks to be a private library and a man reading a book near a fireplace. Okay. Um, <laughs> <yeah. laughs> and abruptly like, closes his book and like tur turns to look at you. Oh, hello! I see we have guests. How glorious, glorious! Uh, what what may I help you with? As he stands up and and turns to you. <sighs> Um, my monkey makes monkey sounds. My monkey makes monkey sounds. Does that thing have rabies? Uh, not... Rabies are a thing it's in this world? Like you know what rabies is, but I uh, know it's not. Nick, I told you the scientific community is pretty large. Okay, um... And well, your business here today? We uh, are. Do I have, do I have like the uh, parchment? The scroll? Uh, uh, I'd like to pull out and show them. We're, we're here on business that you have requested. We're, we're oh, you're the adventurers! Glorious, glorious, glorious! Ah, oh, great! Um, the the quest. Uh, we have been we have been having some of our townspeople disappearing over the past couple months. Um, I have called for aid, uh, such as yourselves, to investigate uh, these disappearing acts. Some have disappeared in the lower, the lower districts by the, uh, by the artisans and, and uh, some, and then others have just just vanished. We have had many vacancies open up in our town. Uh, I, we, my guards have investigated it to where we th believe some entity or some creature is is alluring my townspeople out of my town of safety. Safety. Perhaps it's not safe after all if you're letting so many people die. <laughs> um, uh, I, yeah. my, my guards will assist you however they can, um, with uh, any information, uh, extra that I am not able to, uh, bequeath upon you, adventures, um. If you need to know any of the locations, I much, I am very pleased to help you uh, uh, or let you know their locations to where the where the disappearing where the disappearances have occurred. And I do have to kind of bring this up, but there is the subject of payment. <laughs> uh, payment, uh, of course. Uh, the. Did my guards update that uh, the 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 uh, not the notice? It should have a payment on there, but if it doesn't, um, the the task for completing and saving and helping our town uh, would be about two hundred and fifty gold pieces. Okay. All right. Two hundred gold pieces. Okay. Sounds good. good. I wouldn't have taken the gold, but... Okay. Uh, we, I guess, will be off then. Yes, that, that'll be all. Thank you very much. Um, 
Okay. Great. Great. As he, like, kind of, like, looks kind of surprised that you, uh, do you need to do, would you like to know, uh, where the disappearances have happened? You, maybe you can find some clues Didn't on... You say downtown? Yeah, so, yeah, so like, can... um, so he points out that one of the houses in the lower district, one of the family members have gone missing. Uh, hmm. It would be right over here. Right over like where? Big, big circle. Oh, here? Right over, big circle. Yep, yeah, right big. over here. Mm -hmm. This this house, this okay. house's family, one of their uh, family members has gone missing. Okay. Um, the most recent uh, uh, person to go missing is in the more upper district in where like the more like kind of fancy houses are. Uh, a noble child has uh, uh, gone missing over the over the night. And that would be Where's over here, okay. right over here. Upper I'm district looking. would be like the upper town. Mm -hmm. I'm looking. I Circle. see. So it's in I the. Uh, oh, I gotta zoom out. Uh, oh, I can't make an analysis district, on this. I don't know. Where's this lower district? district? Where's lower district? This uh, the lower district would be over here. Here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that's that house. That's that do, house. Do, okay. do, 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 do. Right. And then the third disappearance is uh, a child was uh, playing near the docks and uh, went just suddenly went missing. Okay, so it has something to do... Okay, I can't make an analysis, but I can make an out-of-character out analysis. Oh, right, boys, it's this. investigation time. It's investigation. <laughs> investigation time, yeah. Uh, so I'm going to go to the red herring, whatever it's called, red bar, salamander. wherever... Red salamander? Uh, I, yes, the red salamander. Yep. I'm uh, in wherever bar. Owen is and tell him about the quest. The, wait, right. did I tell the did wait, I told the um the person the message, right? Yeah, yeah but he's yeah, still yeah, so, on his own. Yeah, way, so right? just tell like get uh I told him the message to send is get the party together uh and meet at this exact spot. I am in oh. a bar. I am hoping I'm in the right one. You probably are. So, um, I would like to go shopping. I'd like to go shopping. Uh I will come you get you, Mr. Cheddar Cheese, when we will start the investigation. It's Cludwin, isn't it? Alright. So, Cheddar, old uh, we'll just start with you. Um, what what shop would you like to go to? There's a few in town. There is a general store. Um, there is a magic shop that you have been to already with Canadian. Um, and there, there's a blacksmith. And then there's, like, some herb shops, some book shops. Uh, a few clothing stores. I think we'll go to the blacksmith first. All right. So but, where's uh, the blacksmith? <laughs> all the way, all the way in the lower district. Takes you about okay, takes you about ha half hour to walk down to down to the lower district. Uh, over here. Where are you? I'm in the building right next to. Oh, Which okay, one? okay. Let me just one. grab my character and just one right in front of you. Yeah. Yep. This. So I would so over here. Yep, right over here. The blacksmith would be right here. Over here. Okay. This is the blacksmith's like home. You see the you see the forge as you walk up. It's it's kind of still it's still the embers are still nice and red. Um, there's there's some uh, big chunks of metal that are glowing red hot inside above the forge. Uh, the there's. Just like gloves, just like hanging on the anvil. You hear some rummaging inside the building. Oh, hello, is there anybody there? Ah, one minute. As you just hear, you hear a big loud crash of metal and uh, uh, and just objects fall over inside the house as the door just like kind of bursts open with a poof of smoke and dust. I believe you're the blacksmith. Or... Uh, is it good? Are, are you are you like peeking your head inside? Is it good? Um, the, the door. Uh, sure, I'll peek my. Yeah, head. the door. The door's like 
half you open. It? Um, you peek your head inside. It's mm -hmm. still kind of dusty in in the room, but you can kind of sort of make out just like a just a bunch of like armor and um, and looks to be like a uh, half made like weaponry uh pot on top of a pile. Okay. Um. Just, just, just one minute. As you, you see the pile start to like unfold and like move, move around as, as the, as the blacksmith climbs out from the pile. Damn, this motherfucker's got dedication. Hey, I. This is just some. Of, this is just some of my uh, projects. Projects, yes. As he just kind of like tries to push it away. <laughs> Um, what what can I help you with today? Um, I I'm mainly looking for um some armor. I'd like to see your prices and uh, what you have. And oh, of course, mainly, what do... I'd like to buy a shield mainly though. Uh, uh, yes, we have a few, just some some simple shields here in in the shop. I believe we have a couple. Um. As for armor, what kind of armor are you looking for? Um, I would be looking for something made out of a heavy metal, like a heavy type of armor, if that is what like I mean. Like a plate metal? Yes. Or are you looking for means... more of like a, a chain mail? Um, I believe plate mail, maybe iron, but I might be going overboard with the iron armor. Request. As the iron? Um, we haven't really made much out of iron in the past few years. It does does still hold up, but um, we commonly use steel for plated metal. Uh, okay. If you are looking, are you looking for just a full set of plated mail? Uh, yes, that would, that would be nice, yes. Uh, for plated mail, the, for a full set, it's going to cost you around 1,500 gold. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm sick and all, but <laughs> but that's a. He shows you a nice, shiny, beautiful-looking set of plate mail. Now that is a very fine piece of craftsmanship. You made this yourself. You made this yourself. Ah, uh, yes. This is this piece took me around a thousand hours to craft. Holy thousand shit. hours. That sounds impressive, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure it's not that much. He gives an hour. Kevin, that is a lot. Kevin. A thousand hours. Hold on, okay. So a thousand. They would maybe be awake for ten hours a day, and that's awake. It, it took not him working. quite a while to make this. I this an extremely it looks, long time. It looks. It looks like it would fit you. Oh, Kevin, <laughs> but I can't pay for it. <laughs> yeah. Years of work to actually finish that. That that is a very fine piece of um, craftsmanship, to say the least. You made it yourself. Yes, I did. Um. It took me a few months to make. Uh, the the breastplate was um, a little tough to configure and uh, work out to uh, what most people wear nowadays uh, and try to fit. I try to fit most ranges of size. Um, okay, that's like 41 days. So a month. If, if you are unable to afford plate mail, um, I believe my chain mail is just a little is would be a little cheaper than that. Be about uh about two hundred gold. I don't believe I have that gold on me, but that is much more of a an affordable price. An affordable price. Hmm. So I think for now I'll just go with the shield, and maybe I might come back with more gold, and I will take that chain mail off your hands. Uh, do, do, do. Uh, uh, the shields I can I can sell you a very simple shield for about ten gold. Uh, if you need something more more fancier, uh, they go upwards about seventy gold for a more uh, have a have more of an elegant look with like gold inlays and uh, God, uh, oh no, yeah, 
I'm really gonna blow my money on a really nice looking shield. <laughs> it, it's your money, man. You can spend it on what you want. Like, <laughs> I start drooling at the fact of this nice, pe at this nice. <laughs> you see this kid <laughs> nice shiny, um, polished metal shield, and then next to it, you see uh, a gold uh, inlay with a okay. lion's face on it. Um. Oh. Uh, the surrounding edges have uh, mahogany wood uh, with uh, rivets bolted in along the section. Um, it looks like a very nice shield. Do you mind if I hold it and uh, try and like, like fit it onto my hand and see how it fit feels? Uh, of course. And he like lifts it off the shelf and like adjust it to your arm and straps it up. Look at this shield! It looks great on you! Oh, it does? You know what? I think I'll buy it. Very well, and... Hmm. Hold on, I'm just going to quickly check my how much gold I have. Okay, yeah, I have 110 pieces. Okay. Yeah. How much? Oh, bro. Bro. <laughs> bro. This, this shield... Hmm. I could sell you around 70 gold, but it's been sitting there a while. I could sell it for around 60. You, my friend, you have a deal. I'll oh. take that shield. Very, very well. And uh, you, hand, you hand him the gold as he, like, puts it away. And uh, is there anything else I can help you with? Um, I think that will be all. Thank you very much. Of course. And, um... He, uh, I want. I hope you have a wonderful day. You too. Uh, please, please come back again. As he like, he kind of gives you a little bow and uh, uh, like a little nod. Thank you for coming. What a gentleman. No problem. Uh, I'll bow back. It was a pleasure seeing all of your fine craftsmanships. I hope you have really uh, good luck making your other projects. And very well. As you walk out of the shop, you start to hear clanging and banging of, like, just things. You you see a, a boot fly out of the door. <laughs> <laughs> a boot flies out of the door! Woo! Free boot. Free boot! <laughs> it, it is just sitting there. It's just one piece, um, one pair of, uh, one boot. It's not a pair, Nick. Remember that. Don't, don't steal right, it. Then, yeah. Maybe I you know, can return it to him. Gain more favors with him. Be more friendly. Oh no, no I know. I I don't. If the boot flew at the door, I don't think it'd be needed that much. <laughs> the... <laughs> He'll get it himself. He'll get it himself. <laughs> All right. I'd like Bro. to go. I'd, li I'd like to go back to the um the red salmon uh and. Really uh, ready. Up. All right. Uh, where is the red salamander? And I have no clue. Where being Canadian, our salamander would be right here in the middle. Yeah, of here, the right here, bro. Yeah, we are here. Oh, okay. Right so here. You can okay. you can go on the bottom layer if you like. Yeah. Right click the the ground. Yeah, so since should I've set your layer to the floor, and then the, the roof oh, yeah, will disappear. Double right click. Yeah, yeah double right click. I've been here since I've been at this bar for a while. Yeah, uh, you. Do. You've been partying. Uh, the bartender has given you a couple free drinks. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a couple free drinks. I would I'm like just sitting roll. in a corner feeding my monkey some. No. Yeah, you were I'm going to fucking. 10, 15 minutes ago. Because yeah, it's been would... about 20 minutes since, or 30 minutes since Cheddar walked away. Yeah, I would um, like to roll just to see what information I've gathered from this general gossip. Uh, roll me uh, an investigation check. Okay. Oh, of course. <laughs> I rolled a so. nine of sixteen in investigation. Sixteen. Uh, since you've been here and like sitting at the bar drinking, you've been listening in on some conversations that are happening in the bar. There's a uh, probably three, four tables that are out of out of six that are like fully uh, stocked. So some are talking about uh, the performance that the bartender has been hyping up. For the past uh, few, uh, uh, like half hour, forty five minutes, um, uh, others are talking about the disappearances within the town. Uh, 
And a third one has just been sitting there just drinking and not saying anything. I uh, walk I over to Owen. Uh, so I put my monkey into the pocket dimension. Pocket? Pocket dimension? <laughs> Hello? What? Stuff the bag of holding. <laughs> yeah, stuff the bag no, of holding. Not the bag of holding. I can, put, I can put my familiar in a pocket dimension. Oh. So it has a little tiny, like, door opens up, and the monkey just, like, jumps in. What the fuck? What? what? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, he salutes and says, all right, right, it's my time to go. All right. Um. I just walk over to Owen, and I start telling him about uh, our job that we got. Uh, yep. So he, he tells you about the disappearances, and the, uh, um, and uh, the king has asked you to investigate the scenes and the houses where they are to try to maybe get some clues on uh, what's been causing these people to suddenly just vanish. The king. Mm -hmm. Either if someone just hasn't seen them or like they are just, they're getting uh, brought to some place. <sighs> okay. I see. Uh huh. I was, hearing things things around place. Place. I was hearing some things about disappearances, and I was wondering if that's what the job we were going to have is. But now that's been confirmed, it's going to be interesting. Hey, where did our third, fourth member go? <laughs> Actually, you know, that's a good question. Where, the, where is have he? Where have you seen? Yeah, you, just, you guys just like uh, Kevin. Uh, Kent. has nowhere to be seen. Mind, we are all still mad at Kent. Kent has nowhere to be seen. That guy on site. <laughs> we are. Yeah. I don't know where he would. We but... haven't seen Kent in quite a while. Yeah. So I'm Kent just stampeding there. It, it, it's rolling around an hour. Um, you see off in the distance a cart coming back. <laughs> I'm just uh biding my time. I'm using my trance right now to uh take a short rest. All right. I'm using my... Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, so... Uh, cart rolls up as four people hop out. A old-looking dwarf. Um, a uh, kind of... A, a woman with brown hair. And a... Uh, Canadian, what do you look like? What do you look like? Well, I'm not what Kevin described me as, because I'm a human. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. You do um, look dwarvish, though. You do look, you know, you you look elvish. elvish. You look at elvish. He, and, <laughs> an, and, a, and an elvish man with, like, long uh, reddish hair, like, steps out as well. Uh, I have brought your adventuring party. No, it's not. Uh, what? <laughs> Wait, hold on. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> Don't hold up. What? <laughs> yeah, and four, four just random people are standing in front of you. <laughs> what? Oh, to Kevin. This is Kevin, not us. Oh, so wait. So he oh. brought you guys over? No, no, we're not there. What? Yeah. He brought four random people that okay. look like the descriptions you gave them. I um I nod my I shake my head. I was like, okay, this is um this is embarrassing. <laughs> um all right, gentlemen. Uh I've brought you here today for some <laughs> Wait, <did the> <laughs> <has a> prosthetic arm? <clears throat> all right, gentlemen. So um I arm. seems there has been some kind of confusion, though you can do as well. I need you uh to head um somewhere in the forest over there and um <laughs> perform and uh there's a dead body i need to i need help with carrying back uh may you assist me with that um oh, uh, swindler they all look like kind of surprised and a little in horror as you don't worry the don't worry i am part um, of the royal guard of ember rock hold and i am uh, i have found a, a, a deception check Roll me, a, roll me a deception check. Oh no. <laughs> okay, hold on. Huh? That lasted a long time before I crashed, so like I'm happy with this. Okay. Hopefully. Oh, crash? Yeah, I, I finally need... crashed. No. Very little crashes. Seems it seems to have helped. 
with the fan. So. I don't think you guys even know I have a prosthetic yet because my yeah, armor is covered. Just, like, it, it, don't worry, I have proficiency in perception. Don't worry about it. I, <laughs> Kevin, my armor is my prosthetic. Nobody should know I have a prosthetic arm. Don't worry, don't matter. According to D and D rules, no matter how how far fetched your thing is, how hidden it is, as long as I get a good perception roll, you are you're secret. He's he's been with you, so like he knows kind of what you look like. He, he doesn't know, like, the full oh, no, no. description. He hasn't been with you more than probably, like, a couple days. I'm gonna have to get a group photo someday. He brought, like, a one-legged dwarf over. One-legged dwarf. I need him to, um... Uh, the guy. I'm going to fucking kill him later. Um... I will go, uh... Talk to the Thieves Guild about a special job that I need them to do. And they will send message to their um, mercenary part of their group. <laughs> I need you to perform a hit on this man. Um, he is a very dangerous level to me. Um, and I need you to uh, just silence him, like, whatever means possible. Uh, so, you see these four <laughs> random individuals just like... Um, they, one of them just goes, well, what's in it for us? What's in it for you? Well, um, what's in it for you? Um, we'll talk about payment later. I'm not sure if you guys can even hand. I'm not sure if most what of you was, can. What was your deception first off for the, yeah. for the thing? I forgot to. What was that? Uh, I I I can't wait. Hold on, you're still in Emberall Cold, right? Yes. I'll come back one... to the map for you. I'll come back. Don't no, worry. I can just roll one of my dice for you. No, no it's I, fine. I, I'll, I'll I can. Back. I'm already um, back. <laughs> I went back to Everrock Hold as soon as you switched. Yeah, I, I took. Don't, don't All worry. All right. I, Deception I, check. All right. 18. <laughs> All right. Uh, they definitely believe you. Okay, um, so I tell them, well, you'd be doing a service to the. Um, to the key, uh, to the hold, to our great city. Another one goes. So you're saying. Plus, I'll add in ten gold pieces. This hero. Plus, I'll add in ten gold pieces. You'd be doing a service, and you'd be getting told ten ten gold pieces each. Hmm. Another one goes. A hundred gold pieces, or I don't go. A hundred like, gold pieces. He's, like, he's standing firm with his with his hands at his shoulder. My friend, I you are talking to uh the one of the guard uh honorable guards here. I can just as well report um report you for not helping an officer, uh helping a guard with uh, a decent thing. Plus, it would be very indecent of you to uh reject uh an offer uh an uh. A request from he, uh, one of the guards. A horrible job of convincing this guy, Kevin. He, I'm not very good at convincing. I'm ready. Yeah, I'm he, he rolled quite high on deception, so like they're they're like struggling to be like okay with it, but like they're starting to go along with the idea. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I need them to, um. I need them to go, like, in vicinity of the, uh, site. But not too far. Um, I don't um, want blood on my hands at this point. Anyways. What are we trying to find out there? Um, it should, it's a, it's a fugitive body with, um, we need to confirm if he's dead or not. I wounded him in the forest, but he ran off there in that direction. And I need to check if he's still there or not, so that we can uh, make sure one less fugitive is off our streets. All right. Guys, what do you say? Eh, I got nothing better to do. Eh. The, <laughs> the, other, one, the other one standing next to the, the dwarf. Uh, just goes, eh. It's better than being in jail. It's 
better than being in jail. Hold on. Wait, wait, hold on. Okay, I I do some kind of secret language. I do some kind of uh wait, no. Um so I have part of me as a criminal contact because I'm I my background's a criminal. Um okay. I wave signals to this guy. Uh like I do like a special special act or something to get uh, a message uh to see if he's a criminal uh part of the thieves guild or not. Roll me a performance check. A perform I have criminal contact. <laughs> I have yeah, but, like, Wait, but I know the like, tell this man you're a <gasps> criminal without saying it. <laughs> Well, no. I'm not saying no. The I'm. Guild has a special thing to tell. Has a special code to tell. Own, like language and whatever. Yeah. Do you know thieves can't? Yeah, I do. Then I'm a rogue. Okay. You. Never mind. I'm sorry. Didn't know that. Uh, you start drawing little images in the ground, um, of like a bird. Uh, what do you want to? What do you want to tell this man? Um, I want to confirm if he's part of the thieves guild. Uh, you, uh, you draw, um, like a den, like a, like, uh, like a little cave looking den, um, and then a dagger underneath. And he just kind of like looks confused. Okay. He's actually speaking in hieroglyphics. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if he asks confused, then, um,. I'll just say, uh, never mind. I won't. I won't question further. If he's ask, acting confused, he's probably not. I'll interrogate him later. Um. So we set off into the direction of that area. All right. Uh, you and these four adventurers. Let me get your adventures. Okay. I give one of them uh my uh a dagger of mine. It says, okay, hold this. I want to, uh, he might be tangled up in, um, a, a vine of some sort, last time I saw. And I might need you to help me cut it open with him, so it's faster, so we can take it, uh, take him back. So we head off, I give him, I give one of them a dagger, hopefully one with, that's strong, that, that's the, that looks the strongest. Okay. And we... As, uh, we as you all, yep, as you head back to the air, just roll me a stealth check. Stealth check? Okay, my specialty. Okay, or you, somebody else can do it for me. Nope, that's just me rolling for them. Oh, okay. Okay, what, so you what got... Did you... No, it, it, I got a 13 15. plus 10, so... Plus 10? Yeah. Alright, yeah. Um... The one dwarf with the peg leg is is a little loud. He's stepping on a few leaves and okay. Sticks. So can I cover him for him? I can cover his stealth. Is that possible? Do you have a uh, pass without a trace? Uh, pass without a trace. No, I don't. Okay, then you wouldn't be able to cover his stealth. So okay, he's he's making some noises. You step up to the area. Okay. Um, and you look around as you see no dead body. Oh, no dead body? Okay, then we you, head back. You do see a blood trail leading into the bushes. Okay, then we head back. I know what the fuck that's going. I know what the fuck that, that's happening. <laughs> Alright, um, I tell the party. Okay, it seems like there is um, some kind of disturbance over there. I will not let you guys go further. I will not risk the lives of our fellow uh, citi uh, citizens. So, we're going to go head back. Alright, boys? Um, as you say, let's go ahead back. Uh, see the you see the dwarf suddenly fall to the ground. I I catch him! I catch him! I catch him! To get dragged. Okay, I pull out my firearm and shoot at the vine. I thought you don't have any more bullets. I have one more bullet. All right, make a make an attack roll. Make an attack roll. Don't roll on that one. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, don't say <laughs> the that. other dwarves like <laughs> Four and then plus my five. Five? That will hit. Okay. So you hit the vine, roll damage. Roll damage. <clears throat> okay. Um shit. Uh give me a second. My revolver does eight damage. Eight 
D8s. Like two D8s, sorry. That's eight. Exactly. Hey, yeah, you you bullet splits the vine as he's starting to scream. <laughs> okay, then... so uh, I tell the rest. All right, you two, carry him back to the road. I'll deal with this disturbance. They grab his arms and start dragging him out of the thing. What the fuck was that? I start retreating oh, slowly. Shit. I start retreating slowly as well. Just covering uh -huh. the retreat. Yeah. As you retreat slowly, you start to see more vines start to creep out of the bushes. Oh, for fuck's sakes. You really like playing around with your food, don't you? Um, Is there a way I can evade? Uh... I will let you... It, I'll, if you want to take the dodge action, you can. Acrobatics, but is that possible? Is... What if I perform acrobatics of some sort and get myself out of this situation? Um, how would how are you going to perform acrobatics? Okay, so um, none of the vines are on the trees, right? They're only creeping on the bushes. No, they're like start, they're starting to like so uh, they're like they're like a snake in water. They're starting to like sway towards you, and they're in the air. They're not on the ground. They're like okay. So I there. I dash. I barrel roll out of there. Dash and then dodge whenever I feel something is coming towards me. Uh, dash and barrel roll. Uh, yeah. I, I'll I'll allow acrobatics. I have Go because I have yeah. So mm, d twenty. Ten plus my five. Yeah. So a few vines. Uh, come to your right as you as you uh, do a barrel roll, flip on the ground, get back up and start running. Um, uh, another another set of vines uh, whips out at you to the left. Make another acrobatics check. Make another acrobatics check. Oh, <laughs> how did I get myself in this situation? Five plus my five is twenty. <laughs> Fifteen. Yes. Oh, as the vines whip, they try to grab. Uh, grab your shoulders as you start to feel one creep over your shoulder and it you break it you break away just as it starts to like can i is it possible if i turn around and slash at it as well of course. And without sacrificing my movement uh like it's just a, a tiny yeah. hobble We're not, like in combat yet so like yeah okay so... so you you twist around and slice the uh slice the vine okay and for just like, just for purposes of like, you don't have to roll in this one. Yeah. Since you're already like, you already rolled a uh, acrobatics. You're just like, you're doing a barrel roll mid air, yeah. slicing the vine. Mm -hmm. So you slice the vine. So it 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 uh starts to wrap around your shoulder, and, and you slice it away, and just like just keep running. Okay. Yeah. Uh, as you make it out of the area. Okay. Are the four three still there? Uh, the three have made it pat, uh, out, and they're about, like, ten feet ahead of you. Okay, so I just shout to them, Head back to the Emberhawk Hold! I'll deal with this! Um, I'll come with you! Uh, probably some kind of, um, creature. Magical creature. Damn cultists around here. And you, and you had us go! And you, you were gonna have us go look in that! Some- I- No, I didn't know that there was something in there. I, myself, have not encountered such a thing, so I didn't know- such a thing was there. And I helped you, didn't I? Like I said, and none of you- a kind of a sus look, but... They, uh, they grudge it off, and uh, come on, Phil. Alright, and uh, I hand them like 10 pieces of gold each. For their right. trouble. Mark down, mark down uh, 40 yeah. pieces of gold. 40 pieces of gold. There's Wait, there, of them. there was four of them? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so the, the old, that's uh, 65 the gold left. Who's the barbershop quartet? Okay. <laughs> All right. So I think I need to start. Okay. Um. So yeah. Uh. Okay. So I start heading back with them. I give them the pieces of gold. I apologize for the disturbance, and head back to Ember Hot Ember Rock Hold. Alrighty. Cool. Uh, you just walk down the pathway. It's a very nice uh, evening. Uh, the sun's just like just setting, right as like you're heading back. Um, uh -huh. mm -hmm. And we get back. We'll just switch back to the bird. Coolie. Oh.
Um. All right. Where's so, my character supposed to start? It, it, right at the entrance of the town. So like you're just coming in. You're coming into the town. The, the guards arrest Kevin for impersonating a guard. What? No, <laughs> no, they don't know that. They, they don't know. No that. idea. But who knows? Yet. <laughs> they have no idea yet. <laughs> Anyways, uh, the the people are probably like five mm. minutes behind you. They they make it back in town. Yeah. Okay. So yes, I come I come in and I uh, start walking towards the bar, tired as hell. From. Yeah. Um. And I. About, takes you about ten fifteen minutes to walk down to the bar uh, area. Uh huh. And you find a very lively bar. Uh, lights strung up. Uh, ribbons kind of like hanging on the walls. Uh, it looks very festive in here. Let's, okay, at least. Well, I mean, uh, it's, bro, I, it's been a while since know. Kevin's been doing all of that. Can I roll investigation to see if I've overheard anything? Yeah, go for it. Dude, they paid me 15 GP to perform and I spent like 200 on decorations. Oh, nice, <laughs> nice. That one. I hear fuck off. You, you have, you have uh, been drowning in a a nice, like cold, cold pint of yeah. ale. I get, I, I gotta, I gotta. Uh, oh, uh, oh fuck! Oh, it's them again. You, you so haven't, heard, haven't heard, heard much. So I walk into the bar, of course, and I look around. What's going on? It's not Christmas or anything. My monkey is also drinking. Yeah, you look around um, <laughs> My monkey is an uh, vodka. I don't think it takes a PhD to know that my guild here is here. Yeah, you look around, you find your guild at the bar. They're oh, just for fuck's sakes! They've been hanging around here while I've been doing all you, the. You work. guys turn her. You got. You guys turn around. You see Kevin just kind of like Kent. looking super tired. It's more Kent. Oh. Kent, I'm very sorry, Kent. Uh, I you look, look at him and see Kevin. <laughs> okay, you, you, what, what took you so long? Who's in... But all I've been here. I look at them silently and I just walk out the bar, forgetting that I need to get a drink. Hey, what are you doing? Uh, you, know. like, you, what you, you can't just like turn around and walk away. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. I, I don't know Anyways, I walk towards the. I know where they are now, so I'm gonna walk towards the blacksmith shop uh, to get more bullets. All right. Um. The uh. The party is getting lively at the bar. Uh, the some more people are funneling in throughout the town, uh, eager to see the performance. Is uh, the blacksmith still there, or is he at the bar as well? Uh, the blacksmith is just a, like closing up shop as you get there. Can I run up to him and just say, "Hey, can you? Uh, hello, sorry, um, I'm a little bit late. Um, I need to uh, do something urgent. Is that possible?" Oh, we were we were just. Cl closing up. Um, I, I'm not. I don't do need, need. I need to like use your smithery uh to make some things for myself. Is that possible? Are you are you capable of running a forge? Yes, I'm capable. My father has taught me um, many things of the craftsmanship oh. of blacksmithing. Oh wow! He seems very intrigued. Um, Kevin as protagonist. I mean, what? <laughs> um, well, of course, the the fee to use our, our is about ten gold pieces. Ten gold uh, pieces? Okay, so is that just to use the thing, or is it uh, uh, an hourly charge? It is uh, an hourly charge of ten gold pieces. Ten gold pieces. Okay, so here's six. Uh, here's ten. Uh, let's say fifty gold pieces for now. Is that okay? Five hours. <laughs> Exactly that, where exactly that, do you have the materials that, to craft bullets? Uh, he probably he really has cool. materials. He'll I'll borrow it from him, and the cost will cover. Um, okay. are, are you trying to to uh, craft? Yes, I'm trying to craft something. I need to um make a few things before I'm I'm in an adventuring guild. I um do you remember the dis disappearances uh around this town? I've been hearing a thing or two. I've been hired by the mayor to uh, do uh, uh, to uh, eliminate this threat, to find out what's happening. So I need to build uh, a few things before I set off to this uh, quest. Okay. Um, do you need anything for your forging today? Um, I'll probably need. Do you have gunpowder around here? Is, 
Do you have gunpowder? Uh, we have. He has a uh, probably probably uh, two seconds. Uh, gunpowder. <laughs> he does have gunpowder, but just give me just two seconds. Yeah. Uh, gun, okay. Gunpowder. Five T. Even if it's TNT barrels, I will still disassemble it. Just open the barrel. <laughs> but I might I need the open, wood. Don't make any sparks. Why would you need wood to make bullets? Uh, well, I don't need wood to make bullets. I need wood in case of emergencies. Just pull it uh, twig off a tree. I've been in plenty of shipwright uh shipwrecks, Nick. I know what a wood can be used for. For definitely going on a boat. For a 35 uh, pound uh, barrel of gunpowder, it's going to cost you uh, around 100 gold pieces. 100 gold pieces? Yo, I don't have that much. Um, can I reduce, like, use a half of, half of that? Uh, to, to use the gunpowder, uh, if you... How many bullets are you... Uh, I'm planning on making, like... Uh, tw six times five, uh, six is thirty six. So I need thirty six pieces 36. of bullets. So, like thirty five gold would get you around that. Okay, thirty five gold. Okay, I'll pay that. All right. Like I subtract that from the co uh the time that I have. So thirty five. I now carefully like you see him like holding out his hands as far as he can and just like carefully scooping this powder into a bag. Okay. Yeah. And then I can use his steel, right? Is that possible? Um, the steel will cost you around uh fifty silver each. Uh, like fifty. I don't have silver ingots. Like uh silver so the the equivalent for silver to gold hold on two seconds uh Isn't gold like 20? to yeah it's like 20 uh the 20 or 25 so it's it's every every one gold is 10 silver okay so i'll just it's you said how many how much silver do i it's need about, it's about 50 silver in ingot 50 silver ingot so i will yeah just buy that that's not a lot that's like three gold pieces i assume that is five gold pieces five gold pieces. five key gold pieces okay i'll take that um take the iron and the gunpowder a about a two pound uh uh just chunk of of deal so five five plus what um five plus fifty thirty five plus, plus fifty plus, 35, which is uh, 40. And then plus um, 50 for your time. No, plus... Uh, this 40 plus 15. Because I have 15 gold left. No, wait. Yeah. I have 25 pieces of gold left because it's 40. 40 pieces of gold for the materials. And then minus that for 65 gold pieces, that is 25. I have 25... Um, yeah. 25... Uh, 2.5 hours. To make these. Yep. Okay. All right. So would you say I can um, make that money? Yeah, you'd be able to make that amount of time. Uh, please roll me uh, just like some. <clears throat> well, you what? What do you? What do you want me to roll? Oh. Oh, he. This entire get, like did everything crash? Yep. Everything just crashed. I'm, rem I'm remembering the fact you rolled a one. Yeah. Um, no, I, no, down. that yeah. wasn't, yeah. no, 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 he freaking, the thing crit, and I, <laughs> I got, I was, I wanted to roll more, I wanted to roll the dice more. Kevin. I wanted to roll the dice more. If you be honest, he might be a bit more sparing. No, I wanted to roll more, but then the fucking thing paused my thing. It lagged out. No, I did not. <clears throat> yes, you did. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I did not. Yes, you did. <sighs> Fuck. I did not, Nick. <laughs> yes, you did. No, I did not. Yeah, you did. We could go back and forth all day, but I'm just saying, I did not. I wanted to roll more, but the thing lagged, and then my yeah. thing rolled, uh, slipped out. Yeah. I know. Hey, I he's back.
speed. Like oh, actually, like hard crashed is fucked up. <laughs> No, it's just like black screen. They're just like. Oh yeah, screen. that happened to me. Both of my screens turned black once, and then it just nothing happened. Yeah, it, it mine restarted like black screen and just restarted. I don't restarted? know. Restarted? That's so rough. Weird. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck. Okay, that well, Kevin rolled a one. No, okay, I did not. <laughs> I wanted to roll. I wanted to spit it more, but the thing lagged out and the thing swipped. It's fine. It's it's fine. Just re roll. Just re roll. No. What are you knowing about? Are you trying to play accuse me of something? Yes. It's it's okay. Roll, just roll. just go ahead and roll. <laughs> I hope you get another one of these really funny. <laughs> no. Please work, dude. Please work. Just Welcome don't back. don't shut off. So much is sometimes a graphics. I am definitely something. like cutting out like the the fucking right side of this map. Hit the bit. right side. I will annihilate it. Yeah, I don't know how Just my like... PC hasn't started starting. Okay. How if your PC hasn't started, like, shut off is, like, besides me. I'm, like, I'm right under yeah. Owen with PC spec, like. Yeah, my <laughs> like, CPU. Is... You crash. All right, yeah. time to roll. It's, like it's always okay. at 90. Go ahead, go ahead and roll. <laughs> All right, two. Two. Roll again. Uh, roll, roll again? Okay. Just roll three times. Okay, yeah. Yes, we cut the one. All right. Okay, so two, seven, nine, nine. I'm gonna say, uh, you do make it over the the course of two hours. Um, <laughs> I have five uh, hours left. <laughs> five fifty minutes. You, uh, you do break two bullets in the uh, process. Whatever, it's fine. You have thirty four bullets. I have thirty four bullets. Yep, you have a nice little uh bag. Uh, or like little uh, sack of. I load them. Bullets. I reload my guns immediately. So both All both right. have six shots now. So that is six times six, twelve. Uh, twelve minus thirty-four. That is twenty-four. What? Twenty-four? No, no. Tw 20... well, yeah, twenty-two. Twenty-two. Sorry. Twenty-two. Yeah. All right. Six so you have twenty-two six, shots five, extra. Five. You load. You take the time. You like quickly whip the bullets in. Um. And you, and your guns are reloaded. Okay. Um. So, might mean not to spend my bullet. Okay. So I have no gold left. So I will. I will. Um. Shit. Uh. Is there a loose uh, round loose piece of paper that I can write on? In the bar. Uh, there's I, some. There. The at the. Man. You're still at the forge. Um. But. Uh. Yeah. There's there's some like loose just like drawing paper around. Drawing paper? Uh, okay, that's all I need. I need the back side to write some letters. So I um write some letters because I know the Thieves Guild around these parts. Like I know most of the Thieves Guild uh okay. around this region. So I just uh write a message and drop it in uh a place where the Thieves Guild can see it. And telling them that, hey, deliver this message to Wait, no, never mind, hold on. Can I find the Thieves Guild around here? Uh, the Thieves Guild in the area is currently not in Ember Rock Hold. Okay, so it's not in Ember Rock Hold. But I know there's a drop-off area here, Within right? the region, yeah, you know, most towns have a drop-off region, uh, for Thieves Guild to pick up, but, like, the main central Thieves Guild for this region of the area is not currently in Ember Rock Hold. Okay, so it might take a few months or weeks, I don't know. I'll drop off a letter here telling them, hey, um, my name, whatever, my rank, de uh, my rank designation, what, um, and tell them, hey, I need some, I need a favor, uh, somebody get, somebody tell my mother that I need more money. <laughs> tell yeah, her to bring, right, like, to, 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 tell her I need, like, 500 pieces of gold. Yeah, you write to Zeldris, uh, Zeldris Moonwalker, and, uh, uh tell him these these uh these things yeah tell her i, um, I i'm gonna tell her that uh, i need 500 pieces of gold uh can you just tell my mother to get get it for me yeah yeah Thanks. you write you write it in uh you you hide it in some some bushes and put some thieves camp near it okay. and yep. uh yeah Okay, uh, this is the benefit of being part of a nobility. Uh, <laughs> and then I go back to the bar. I can't buy anything, so I just sit around and watch. Uh, 
group. No, I'll okay. no, never mind. I'll sit. I'll do. Tr I'll trance. I'll trance in the bar. All right. Um. Can I buy a drink? By now, the bar is pretty packed. Um. And uh, can anyone? What's your character's name? Hmm. What's your character's name? Monkey. Monkey man. <laughs> monkey man. <laughs> your name. Is, your name is Monkey. Yeah, his yeah, name, my is... name is Monkey. My last name is Man. <laughs> All right, Monkey, you you feel a tap on your shoulder. <clears throat> I turn oh. around. As you as you see the nice uh, uh, young girl that you uh, young. talked to earlier standing next to you in a nice, uh, pretty dress. Uh, <laughs> she has her hair up. Um, she has glasses on. She has her, like, spectacles. Um, well, hello there. <laughs> hey, hello there. Yeah. Uh, very, very uh, lively crowd we have going on. She expected yeah. something not, uh, quieter. Uh, my, um, <clears throat> my friend over there, uh, the one playing the music, I am uh, currently traveling with them. This dwarf and this... <clears throat> Elf. Elf. That looks uh, a little surprised. I'm um, not. I'm not in. I, I I'm not with them. About all elves, trust me. I'm not. Uh, no, 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 no. Right. Hold on. I'm not with Start the table with them. Down. I'm literally just standing around, just like. Yeah, I know. I pointed at them. Oh, okay. Yeah. I see. Um. I, I hear what you said. I heard um, what you said, my friend. And he turn. He she turns to you and. Uh, so you're performing tonight. Actually, I oh. hope you enjoy the. I hope you enjoy the show. Very good. I can't. I can't wait. Um, and uh, she just sits next to you, Canadian. Can I? Can I get a uh, an Irish uh, staghorn? Uh, I will pay for it if you don't mind. Oh, how how courteous. Um. She, uh, the bartender slides down this drink and it's fizzling and bubbling. Uh, some like blue sparks shoot out every once in a while. What? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay. I wonder if they have D. Oh, hold up. That drink oh, looks interesting. What's in it? Um, Daghorn Root, uh, I believe, um, uh, El Elder Elderwoodberry and oh. uh, isn't fit... correct? Correct okay. me if I'm wrong, but isn't elderberry poisonous? It can be at the, with a large amount of quantities, but the in recent months this drink has become quite popular. So I I thought I might give it a try. Fair enough. As she takes it back, um, you see her, like, her appearance start to, like, have a more of a redder hue, and then it just slowly fades away Can I go uh, on a few, few seconds. Um, Later. Go away. And play Fortnite. Go away. And Fortnite. Sorry, say that last part again, Kale. Yeah, so. Oh, I think you lagged. Uh -oh. Or I did. Oh, not again. No. no. Uh oh. No. Oh no. <laughs> oh. Hello. What has happened to the boy? No. What has happened to the poor boy? How does he no, actually, I was go. wrong. I can't live up to 500 years. I can live up to 750 years. That's bullshit. Yeah, and well, I become see, an adult around. I come become an adult around 100 years. I mean, you know? I am 250, I think. Hmm. How convenient, Wait, such a round... No, it's 255. 255 years old. I'm 58 right now. Hey, Canadian, how old are you? Hmm? I'm how like 20-something. Okay. You think I said 28? Y'all are inexperienced as yeah. <laughs> fuck. I reach I, over to I, 350. Kevin, just because you've lived for that long, usually with the elves, you don't actually leave home until you're like over 100 or 200. Yeah, I escaped from home, though. Then <laughs> how the hell do you still have connections to home, Kevin? 
because I have connections to home. <laughs> no, it's one or the other, Kevin. No, 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 no. Uh, yes, Kevin, yes, yes, So yes, basically, yes, Kevin sorry, faked his death. Whatever the fuck you want. Kevin faked his death, his father thinks he's dead, but literally his, all the rest of his family knows, and they're keeping him secret from his father for some fucking reason. It but makes no I'm sense. I, I, after this session, Kevin, also I would like to read your backstory. Okay, sure. Uh, I'm 24, by the way. Okay, that makes me the youngest, I'm 20. I'm You're 26. 20? Yeah. Damn, Chatter's an old man! <laughs> just, just kidding. Uh, I'm lawful evil. Oh, it's not- uh, lawful You're lawful evil? evil? Uh, yeah. How can you pick one or the other? Pick one or no. the other. Kevin, the lawful evil, evil is your you are not. A they good both person. describe the same thing. You're also not no. a bad person. You're being an lawful an is you're being an lawful. <laughs> yeah, you're an antihero. Yeah, it, yeah, you're an antihero. Most you, you like you can't ever get to like chaotic evil because like that's just like I I can Where kill a party and that's just not allowed. So like that's like Joker level. Yeah, it's well, about lawful, sending a message. <laughs> lawful evil is like I'll just complete my task and I was just following evil. orders, sir. I did nothing wrong in the Nuremberg trials. Like you kill the boss, but then get angry at the party for killing the boss. So then you throw, you want to throw like a boulder at them. It's like yeah, it's like, 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 like bad guys. Ends, ends just Canadian like Canadian at this point. If you're describing yeah. it like that, Canadian at this point is like. <laughs> Every soldier of every dictatorship. I was just following orders. What? what? <laughs> no, Kevin. I'm lawful evil because I'm gonna do whatever the hell it takes to get revenge for that fucking. That one. What my backstory was. Whoever murdered my entire family. I think it was a dragon. Yeah, it was a dragon that murdered. Every my lawful family. evil. I'm every... gonna do whatever it takes to get revenge, but I'm not a bad person. I'm an anti. -man. I know, I know. And no one no one's saying you're a bad person. I'm just saying yes, you I compare it I compare you to a soldier. I was just following orders. <laughs> My what? whether that was good orders or bad orders, I was just following orders. Jeez. Uh, why is this uh, crashing so much? I am gonna oh, after this session I am honestly just gonna research endlessly figure out why the fuck this is crashing. <laughs> this shouldn't be crashing. If you want to, you can just quickly go and delete like half the mountain range. No, it's that I <laughs> just wipe I, it I out. Gotta, like copy paste like okay, huge I... parts of Lance, so like I have to go look that up. Thanos cool snap. Time. Anyways, how about we yeah, but... keep going? Yeah. So, um, where were we? The the uh, bar. Uh, the yeah, the girl, the woman, as she as she in in ingests this liquid. Um, you see her, you see the hue of her skin start to just, like, uh, emanate a little red. Oh no, those um, are bad kids. As, as it just starts slowly fading away over the next couple of seconds. Um, and, uh... Remember, kids, drugs are bad, don't do them. She looks a little tipsy. Ah, drunk already. <laughs> drunk already. <laughs> You're gonna you miss the big it? performance. <laughs> you ain't gonna remember it if if you just uh drink all your way. Uh, she she gives out a, a very loud burp, and uh, man, there that goes, was really good. There goes the uh, cuteness properties of her. <laughs> I have now heard. My dude, charisma. Now. <laughs> My dude, charisma. Uh, a couple, well of, a couple of patrons just go ah, as the, as the as the burp emanates throughout the bar. Oh we wow! Start laughing. I start clapping <laughs> for it. Damn! I I I I start. I stand up. It was like a six out of ten. It was like a six out of ten. <laughs> Um, she looks over you, uh, would, would, would you like to dance when the music comes on? Hmm. <coughs> ah. Uh. <laughs> what's your, what's your reply, Canadian? He's thinking. He's thinking. Indeed he is. Where's the bar again? Microsoft thinking. Hello? Sorry? Sorry. Hello. Okay. 
Yeah. Okay. okay sorry. Say oh. that again. I was trying to fix my mic. Not a problem. Um, she asked you, would you like to dance when the performance starts? Uh, I don't really know how to dance. I've never really had the opportunity, but I'd love to learn. She gives you like a, a, a pretty big grin, and uh, <laughs> I don't mind teaching you. I don't like the sound of that. Okay. <laughs> it gives you a very big that grin. <laughs> Uh, uh, by the way, by the way, this is Quandale, time. my monkey. The, the bartender. <laughs> oh, how cute! So uh, she goes to like pet the monkey. Uh, <clears throat> does he like react in some way at all, or would that, is he accept? That, that is completely not up to me. I can okay. only command the monkey what to do. That. Whatever a monkey does, I don't like to- oh. <laughs> yeah, the, monkey, the monkey just like opens his arms willingly and uh, hug me. <laughs> and like jumps into her arms and like just like gives her a hug. Oh, she the monkey no longer <laughs> likes you, Canadian. Did you get a twenty on animal handling or something? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, Canadian, he no he no longer likes you. Oh no. The monkey. It's like, it's, it, it almost like looks like it's falling asleep in her arms. Oh. Damn, I didn't know you were so good with animals. <laughs> my my father raised uh met many many different types of mystical creatures when I was young. Sounds it, interesting. It, it, it was a, to tell me more about it. It's a fun later. life. <sighs> of course. Of course. Um and the bartender walks over to you and hey you're on and uh the lights the he starts to like walk around the bar and like dim the candles a bit like where am i supposed to no, over here over Shots here a, isn't it he turns a, he turns a few off uh two over seconds he, over here isn't it take off the roof canadian uh blackout would it be Black. here i am going yep. right here because in the middle of the bar yeah, the oh, stage that, would yeah, the be. Stage just looks over there. Yeah, the stage would be like over there. It's the bar is like bigger than like what you're like seeing. It's it's yeah. the, the wall. Yeah, this it's an uh, accurate depiction yeah. of what the yeah, bar it, is. It's like. it's roughly the same size as where you're currently standing. It's just like all can around. Can you make it nighttime, Kale? Because yeah, yeah it be I, nighttime, I, I actually can. Yeah, I, actually I just went to the biggest and grandest area I could find, and I'm like, this looks nice. This yeah, because nice. usually, usually, especially back then, if there was a oh. bard, they would either be, like, by the fire playing music or whatever, or they would be off to the side, just so everyone yeah, like can listen while they eat their food. Do 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 um and has it been four uh, hours yet been about been about two two hours okay. um, uh and the black my go... monkey dance with Owen oh no. no 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 it <laughs> will you... ruin the performance would you would you like the monkey on the stage this monkey go fuck the... his performance up so the monkey may be on stage, but I cannot dance with it as I need two hands for a liar. That's horrible. The monkey can you dance to next to you. Guitar, basically. Oh, the monkey can dance lyre. next to you. A lyre is a like a lute. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, if you're, if you're what you're borrow, do you would probably have like a the, mandala or a um oh, there's a like, there's a drape in front of the in front of the stage. Uh as uh you step behind it and you prepare your prepare yourself. Yep. Just for information, I'm not actually singing. That's not happening. You don't you don't have to if you don't want to. It's all, it's want me to put you. up a song for you? <laughs> it's I whatever. already have one. Don't worry. Yep. It's whatever you, you want to do. All right. So as as the lights go dark, uh, the curtain opens up, um, and the the torches like uh next to you light up and uh. <laughs> People see you on stage. Roll me a, a performance <laughs> check as the performance begins. Of course, of course. Check. All right. This is hilarious. Be hilarious. Oh, yeah, if we can imagine, she well, bumbles it. You see, I rolled a five, but I have twenty-three in performance. Oh, <laughs> what? I'm sorry. Hello. Okay. 
So 28. Um, as you start to strum your guitar with for your lute with much precision, uh, the crowd is starting to get uh, pretty hyped for the for this song. Uh, as as the, as the song begins to play, uh, the crowd starts to starts to chant. Canadian, she grabs your arm. Okay, uh, and, and swings you around, and like actually just grabs your hip with the other arm. <laughs> and uh, does he like close. lift it, lift her, uh, lift her up, and then just like swing around? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Kent, you see, you see this girl literally grab Canadian's arm and just like. Oh, I'm in a trance. I'm like, semi. I'm semi conscious. I don't see it really. Okay. All right. You can relay like imaging and stuff. Yeah, later. I can feel the like. Uh... He'll figure it out. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So you you go up to the girl. Uh, and uh, you guys start. She starts to slowly move back and forth and sway back and forth and and you two start to dance. Um, uh, Canadian, roll me a, just a d twenty. Yeah, I had a feeling I was going to have to. Uh -oh. All right, here we go. He bumbles around. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Oh. Yeah, your, your, foot, your footwork is surprisingly very good. He's moving uh -oh. around like... Doo, 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 Wait, doo, 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 that would be plus what? Dexterity? Uh, is that just a d20? Yeah, it's yeah, just a d20. would just be a flat d20. For Unless you want to add performance in there. I don't think you have performance, so... I have... You, yeah, I don't have, have performance... Because I have uh, two charisma modifiers. So twenty, uh, yeah. You, she is quite impressed with your with your dancing skills that apparently you didn't know. <laughs> um, so you're saying and... that you were new to this, as you were saying? <laughs> uh, I thought you said you were new to this. I am. I have hmm. never danced before. It's mostly just been, um. I'm I'm not really gonna get into my uh, job while we're dancing. Uh, I, of, of, well, of course. Um, and you guys continue dancing. Uh, oh, when your music starts to pick up, uh, and roll me another performance check. Another one. Let's go. Fifteen plus twenty-three. Whatever the thirty-eight. Thirty-eight. Yeah, the crowd is starting to get into an uproar now as as like people are starting to jump and like and dance around in the crowd i'm gonna, uh, sh I'm gonna I'm, i you're swear to god quite show i swear to god if it gets people. any louder i'm gonna pull out my gun and uh, shoot at the so bar you, you see you see a like a shirt get thrown onto the stage <laughs> oh and um um I pick it up and you, start you don't waving see around. I, say, I pick it up and start throwing it high like a flag. You, just you, yeah, yeah, you, you, you I thought you said you needed two hands for your thing. You lose. You, you, see, you see many girls uh, start to scream and, and cheer for you. Uh, <laughs> you, see, power. you see gentlemen in the, in, in the crowds just dancing along with the music, having a good time. Uh, the bartender is like very happily cleaning the bar, bobbing his head to the music. That everyone <laughs> seems to be having a, a wonderful time. Bobbing in the head to the music. in your first ever concert. This concert. Uh, <laughs> the the music or the concert venue goes on for a, how would you how long would your performance be? I'd say probably about an hour for a full set. A full set, okay. As you're coming up to the middle of, of the set, the crowd uh, starts to quiet down as your song comes to an end, and you start you start the next uh, song in your uh, your repertoire. Thank God, uh, it's please, quiet down. Please, yeah, uh, please roll me another uh, performance as as the second verse comes comes up. Roll another performance, my friend. Does he even need a? Does he even need a roll performance? He said he got a. He... It's a twenty-five. Sounds for the first like half of his. Uh, Wait. So how did you get twenty-three as a modifier? What? Well, let's see. 
Yeah, he's, he's a bard. He's, 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 he's a charisma plus three because I have proficiency or plus three. Then proficiency is two, and then I double it because my passive. So I get twenty three after all that. No. Um, uh, oh, okay. Um, 19, 19, 21, double the you 2, 23. Wait, how, where did you get the 16? My base charisma stat. Yeah, you don't You don't. You don't add the that. Base charisma. You add the modifier. You add the... Know what I was doing. You no, like... Plus you, 16. Is that not what Kevin did for his stats? Yeah. Wait, what? Yeah, Wait. you're not supposed to use like the base sixteen. Yeah, I'm not stuff. using the base sixteen or something. Yeah, he's he's yeah he's. I'm using, using the modifier. modifier. That's why I have like. Yeah, you put the modifiers I in your skills. That I haven't messed something up. Very I was much. like, wait a minute, yeah, you can't get twenty three. I was like, this is a bit high, but it sounded kind of normal for bards because they do have like, some retarded skills I've... like. I was wondering why something felt slightly off. I was like, performance? Wait, you have a 23 modifier? Hold on a fucking minute. Yeah, that... One moment, something I'm a thief, and I only have... There. Bro, I... Um, yeah. Give me one moment, that would be down to... Bro, I'm a thief, and I have, like, 10 on my sleight of hand, and 10 on my stealth. Nine. Uh... That'd be nine. Twenty-one. And this roll would have been... Gun-ho. Let's seven. go. Yeah, 921 and 7. 921 and 7? Um. Blue so stone. Oof. Mm -hmm. Uh, so. Let me fix that real quick. That. Hmm. 921 7. So. We're going to have to double back. Initially, the crowd no isn't too thrilled with the song, but it picks up in the middle of it and they start to dance. And that, what are you so, playing dubstep? I'm yeah, I'm trying to like really piece back together this. <laughs> how do you make dubstep in the medieval times? <laughs> I don't know how. Um, you just tap on it, the floor. It's, it's kind of like uh, it. It's like when people make dubstep with their like just vocal cords. They he's just going. Um. Wait, does my monkey have to roll performance? Again. Yeah, actually, yes. Roll or do you just tell monkey. tell the monkey to get off? Oh, that's a 12. Yeah. Everyone, uh, for the first half of his set, uh, when he rolled a 9, it was more interested in the monkey than like <laughs> the actual uh. performance. Um, and you just see them all go, Oh. <laughs> They're more interested in the monkey than you, my friend. And then it starts to like quiet down for your first set. So your second set now will have you roll for your second set. Let's fix this. Okay. That's uh, so it's kind. Of, it's kind. Of, it's kind of like. That's better. Quiet than in the bar. That's a nineteen. That's the nineteen. Team. As the crowd starts to roar to life again. Um, everyone starts to have, uh, yeah, everyone ha is having a good time. Um, I swear most to are, God, if most these seem to be liking the music. Uh, Quandale got a 14, by the way, for this okay. second part. Okay, alright, cool. Um, and the monkey is doing a quite good performance, doing a little monkey dance, uh, throwing some poop in the <laughs> He's doing a little trolling. <laughs> He's throwing a little poop thing yeah, here and there. He's juggling, he's juggling his poop every once in a while. Uh, uh, he seemed to like that for some reason. Uh, I'm going to shoot up the I, bar do once I get it gets. a stat sheet, by the way, for Quandale? What? <laughs> yes, I what can get you. you I, I, no, I haven't made one, but I can just give you the, the monkey stat sheet. I if like this bar gets these, any louder, these. it's about to be a bloodbath. Uh, monkey... I will I will bring these companion, people to hell. Five. You all shall feel the wrath. Monkey companion, boop, copy. Send that to you right now. I just had an idea. Uh, yo. That's a base stat sheet for like uh for the monkey companion. If my mic tops off, I don't know what happens. <laughs> it's a minus to our charisma. <laughs> <laughs> Monkeys are not very charismatic, apparently. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Does or that smart. mean the same thing to you? Huh? 
Does that no. mean the same thing to you? Why do you have no. such big charisma? You're called Monkey. <laughs> I know I'm named Monkey. This literally is a monkey. Yeah, he has a like a. So like, if it has a minus looking, two, then why it's do like you? A, a flint, demonic looking monkey. Oh, so yeah, you're not yeah. human entirely. You're just uh. Yeah, something of that sort. Wait, no, well, you. No, I am human. I'm a warlock. The monkey looks kind of weird. Yeah, oh, the monkey has some like demonic look. Yeah. Oh, I don't like that. I'm gonna is... shoot him. I haven't no, seen him. <laughs> no, you're not. But the monkey is a um. The monkey better not do something funny, Nick. <laughs> it better not do some funky monkey. Fuck, I closed my tabs. Fuck me. Restore. God damn it. I have right, a cool. great idea. This is gonna end. It's well. a fiend, by the way. Because I could have a fey or a fiend. This one's a fiend. This one's a fiend. This monkey. It's a fiend. So uh, we need to get rid of it fast, or else it's gonna cause some trouble That's for us. That's racist, Kevin. Nah, uh, well, I can't be racist, man. What? What? I just can't be racist. I I just. I think if you try hard enough, anyone can be. But okay. I. <laughs> Even with people not being racist, they're racist sometimes. <laughs> Basically, everyone's a racist at that point. But then, ev not to be racist is sometimes racist. Hold on, it, under that logic, so everyone's a racist, except uh, un and that like excludes the ex uh, racicity. Yeah, I hate elves. <laughs> because everyone's racist and everyone's equal, like the proletariats in the Soviet Union. Elves so and dark elves. <laughs> Elves and dark elves. There's a race war between, technically. So yeah, elves and elves and dark elves. Yeah. So you're you're racist <laughs> against dark elves. Like if you ever see a dark elf. Uh, yeah, oi, oi, mate! You piece of shit! You you, you wanna go, huh? You fucking uh, yeah, dark, dark skin motherfucker! Like, fuck you, you fucking loser! And then like the other one's like, hey, you're a little you're a little git. And then like. Yeah, it's. I rather mind my own business, they, they just but like sure. each other because the night the dark elves are like underground, and the the night elves moved into the forest. I'm more like I'm more like, 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 like a casual. I I'm more like make dark humor jokes than like straight up be racist. So. <laughs> would it would it be more so like me and Durga hate each other, dwarves and gray door? Yeah, it would be like that. Yeah. It would just be like you generally don't like each other, and if you see each other, an argument could break out. Uh, why must all race be hating each other? Why can't we have be a harmony? <laughs> There's dwarves that go into dark practices. Because race them. wars. <laughs> race wars. Yeah. They're gray and that's why I hate them. Fuck them. <laughs> we must end slavery. That uh -huh. you know, I could be surprised if you guys ended slavery. Like, it, would be, it would be surprising. So the performance is going good. Everyone's having a good time. Uh, shirts are getting thrown on stage. Women are cheering. Um, you want your as... shirts back, pal? <laughs> um, some some male and some female shirts are being thrown. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, Canadian, you uh, roll me another performance check as she like tries to spin you, like under her arm. Under her arms. Canadian, uh, don't fuck it up. Nine, oh, nine. as as you as she starts to spin you, uh, you fall backwards. Roll me a strength check. Oh, for the recovery. Come you on. all, Get you it. guys all you have, have either this. negatives or zero strength. Uh, I'm so worried. What do I... Yeah, fifteen. As you fall back, you pull her with you as she falls on top. Of you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know Whoa! 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 Forward of you, oh, oh my! <laughs> and she gets, she just, like she blushes. Um, oh no! <laughs> she gets up quickly and just helps you up. Uh, I'm 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 so sorry. I I didn't I didn't know you 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 were ready for that. I just start laughing. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> she, she seems kind of flustered. Um. Uh. I I will uh. I have to use the bathroom. I will be right back. And okay, uh, okay. I don't trust that. To the to the restroom. Are you sure I'll you're gonna over leave? Cheddar and give him a double thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> Canadian, I would check on her if I were you.
just, you're just sitting at the wire. What would you like to do during um, this monkey? Uh, can I can I talk to the bartender? I want to see his selection. Yeah, of course. What can I get for you? Uh, what's you, do you what do you have that's most aged or your strongest beer you have? Strongest. Yes, either the most hmm. finest beer or the most strongest you have. Uh, I have oh. something, but it'll cost you. How much are we talking? Because I don't pay for a good ale. 40 gold pieces. Holy oh. shit. Okay, you know what? Uh, this is something less expensive. <laughs> Just a normal uh, ale. We have, yeah, we have a normal ale. For... This is, the stuff you're asking for is like top shelf. Like, top shelf, yeah, my I'm friend. For, I'm looking for a good dwarf beer. <laughs> Dwarf, dwarf and beer? Yeah, um, dwarf and beer. <laughs> ten silver. So one gold piece. Alright, um, I'll do that. Just of course. It on. He, like, he opens a, a jug and just like pours in this golden liquid into the bar. It foams up and he slides you your glass. All right. I remain solace. As you cheers him and take a drink, um, roll me a constitution check. Oh, shit. Did I roll? No. How do I do this again? Oh, I rolled a seven? Okay. A seven. Wait, seven. what is he rolling for? Uh, okay, that also, that, the eleven doesn't count. The eleven doesn't count. Yeah, so yeah, seven. So seven plus your con modifier. Three. So ten. Three? Ten? Uh, this is quite a strong dwarven ale than what you were expecting. Um, for being very, like, low tier, you it kind of puts the question in your mind, like, what is the high tier? Like, <laughs> it will <laughs> knock you out. Um, and, uh, um, yeah, you you feel a little tipsy. My dwarven yeah. friend, I think that is 50% alcohol you, content. You feel tipsy after the first, <laughs> uh, I'm... the first, uh, uh, after the first drink, uh, for once in your life, your dwarven life, you feel a little tipsy. <laughs> it's kind of shocking. Wow. Wow. Oh, what did you put in this? My my friend, uh, I think that is 50% alcohol. <laughs> it, is, it, is rough, it is roughly 78% proof. <laughs> what's what's the hot off shelf? What's yeah, the hot off Drink seventy eight for beer. Seventy eight percent. That's a beer. Oh, oh, my bad. That's... That's a beer. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! I... He's gonna get the belt. <laughs> He's gonna get the belt. <laughs> yeah. No, Chad just like ah, goes down like a nice cold drink. All right. it's, a hot day. it's roughly near in the time. For another two hours, as the performance comes to an end, um, everyone has a good time. As your performance comes to an end, they all cheer. <laughs> and uh, His mic some, went... <laughs> some come up to the stage and uh, ask for you, ask for your autograph. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Like, they take out an ink pen and like. Uh, ask you to sign like random things like boots. Sign my tits. Uh, there's one sign girl that asks, asks for that. Would you like to? I see no reason to object. All right. <laughs> Yo, sign it on my abs. <laughs> which um, which uh, breasticle are you gonna sign? <laughs> breasticle. Right Why can't you just? Right Owen is <laughs> autographing somebody's breath. Yeah, you you look over Canadian and you see you see Owen just like <laughs> leaning in on some woman's cleavage and like signing. Hey guys, hey like name. hey guys, let's make him let's make him do uh like a, a sleight of hands check <laughs> to make sure <laughs> make sure <laughs> make sure he uh, writes what? it correctly. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Why? Because the skin is very soft and supple. So, <laughs> I go to nat 20. Nat Oh my god, what? Nat 20? Alright, so this calligraphy is the best you've ever written. It, <laughs> it is it almost looks like the perfect penmanship. Hmm, maybe and I should write uh, autographs on tits now. And and actually faints. 
from from you uh, okay, signing I'm her, her breast. Uh. Whoa. Do we have a medic in the building? Uh, okay, okay, she looks fine. Oh, she's here. Another goes another quote and goes mess mess, and she just like brings a wet towel from the bar. <laughs> running a high 20 fever well high that was <laughs> okay so uh while you guys sign these autographs uh it's been four hours or three yeah it's just roughly nearing the four hour mark okay i come back from my trance and i look back at this shit okay what the hell's going on a everyone's like kind of w cramming around the stage you see you see owen uh signing people's i uh items uh you see a fainted girl on the ground um canadians sitting there uh, waiting for my date to come back <laughs> and your date, your date uh come has came back uh over this period uh she uh sits next to you i'm i'm sorry that i i took so long um i had to i had to powder my nose and um Okay, so you guys probably need to go to sleep or something. I'll be on night watch. Yeah. I'll help. I'll go to the. I'll go to the local guards and volunteer myself for night watch. Do we have rooms? Uh, you do not have rooms, but uh, I want a free room for uh, for being uh, the performer for the night. Oh, can I sleep on the floor in your room? <laughs> Yeah, go ahead. That's so great. while everybody while everybody oh, sleeps, right? I'm going I to long rest in Owen's room on the floor. <laughs> I'm going to um volunteer myself for night watch. All right. Um Also, just out of curiosity, did I get any kind of tip money from anyone or do I just get uh, the performance? Just pocket the woman who fainted. <laughs> I could do that actually. Wow. Well, she wouldn't mind. She's like, you know. Some threw up. You made about. Seven gold wait, pieces wait. worth of like silver and copper. That's pretty good. Okay. So, um, before, before I leave to go, um, uh, do night watch, um, I'm going to ask my party what our mission is. Because I know we're trying to hunt down something, but I need to know information about what we're getting ourselves into. Wait, I, believe I, I believe I've gone to bed. I have gone, I've already you know, drunk on Owen's floor. All right, I ask, I ask Monkey. All right, so what's our mission again? I know you met with the mayor. I'm guessing you did, right? Uh, so yeah. Um, I just pull you aside for a second. I just tell uh, my date. Yeah, just give me a second. It's oh, a business. Of, 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 of course. Uh, she so just, I, pull, like, I pull Kevin aside. Uh, so... I know it's really awkward for during your date or whatever. I see you have a girl yourself, but I just need to know what our objective is. Whoa. Uh, so this kind of worked into my date, but currently we are looking, investigating... Just trying to listen around. There's been some disappearances lately. This is like really under my breath. Do we know the locations of the areas of the disappearances? Uh... Uh, we know the general locations. Just for now, try and keep your ears out for okay. anything on disappearances. All right, and, so and we'll I'll all meet back together in town square in the morning. Okay, so I'm going on night watch. I'll go investigate around the area. Uh, since I'm there, I'll try to get a station over there. Uh, see the what I can find. Disappearances have been all over town. They've been by the dogs. I know the they've been the near the dogs somewhere. I'll try to find uh look around there while I'm on night watch. All right. Good luck. All right. Uh, so you head off into the town at night. Uh, walk back. You thirsty? All right. Where would you like to head, Kev? Um, go to the docks, I guess. Alright. Um, takes you a little while to find your way in the dark, but, uh, you're starting to get your... I would assume, your, uh... since I'm going to volunteer myself for night work, would guards be, like, volunteers be issued a torch or something to help them look around? You can... 
there's just like torches just like strung up a, along the pathway and uh i'll just buildings. take i'll just take one it's it's yeah. not uh you just like slide it out of its post and they won't you mind. have a torch what the f it helps you see about 10 feet out okay so i'm at the docks right so i'm investigating around i'm looking around the area seeing if there's anything happening all right roll me a investigation check with advantage Investigation check with advantage. Okay, give me a second. Yep. Ooh. Wait, hold on. So, 17. 17 plus the investigation? Uh, my investigation... I don't have proficiency in the investigation, so it would be just my normal... Uh, Whatever the stat is. Yeah, so... Uh, like, whatever the bonus is. Investigation, my intelligence, which is plus one. Plus 18. one, so 18. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so you look around the dock. Um, all seems to be good. The area where the disappearance happened, uh, you go check around there. Um, as you uh, find um, some some old claw marks leading off the dock oh that's bad uh i should report oh, this um, into then you the... also find uh under a under a chest you find a small bracelet about not like maybe a small bracelet. 10 inches in 10 inches in diameter by eight inches like okay so canadian told me there was a small family that went uh, that first disappeared. Then there was a child, that noble child, that recently disappeared. This small ring could possibly be one of the disappeared members, but how should and I go further on this? At the end of the dock, underneath it, um, you stumble upon uh, what appears to be some sort of weird goo. Okay, so I observe it from a. Can I shine my uh like torch on it? Uh, yeah, you lower your torch underneath the the dock. The water is kind of just like calm right now. Um, and you, it looks uh kind of like aerogel almost. Aerogel? What is that again? So it's, it's, like, it's like, gel. yeah, here, it's I'll like, just, I'll like, put it in, I'll put it in general. It's air, like a gel air, like lighter than, or it's not lighter than it's, air. It's made of air. Like, yeah, like it's, but made of it's air. just, it's literally like, it um, looks like it. So like, you know, it's not, yeah. so yeah, hold on two yeah. seconds. I, I will put it in chat. So like, uh, copy, it's in campaign memes. Campaign memes. Of course it is. Yeah. It's, it's okay. Tough. So that's what that's what like the the slime looks like. Okay. It has so, a white hue. You can kind of see through it. So we're either dealing with a sentient slime or we are dealing with a, some kind of nymph or something. Uh shit. I should report this. Is there any way I can collect a sample? Uh do you have like a vial or a jar on you? No. Um is there a possibility I can look for one? Ye roll me an investigation check. Roll you an investigation check again. Ooh. Yeah, it takes you five, ten minutes to like look around the dock for just like a small like vessel that would look like it can hold some stuff. Okay. A lot of some things are broken, some things aren't. Okay. So it yeah, you find you find a, a small like wooden wooden cup okay so um i grab that i scoop some of the thing and then All i right. put like some kind of lid on top of it like or like a clothing cloth or something yeah you put you put some cloth and wrap a little rope around yeah. it that you find on the dock okay um and then i start heading back yeah um so where where else did he said um that i mean okay the noble's house would be right over in the top district would be right 
Uh, let me just look. This house, two seconds. Which house was that again? I forgot. One second. I'm just like looking at the houses. Oh, I believe so. It was like one of Fuck. these nice buildings here. Why, computer? Oh no. It, yeah, it is totally this section. It is the mountain. I I'm fucking deleting this mountain. So I'm, I'm going to question. I'm going to question the family about where he would be last, like Maybe. where he was seen last playing, because I would assume this child would playing somewhere. Wouldn't they be asleep, Kevin? Uh, they have servants, do they? They're nobles. Yeah. Um, you go knock at the door. Um, uh, and about five minutes passed, and some lights turn on as a a butler comes to the door. Uh, what what may I do for you? Hello, my good sir. I am here on behalf of an internal investigation upon the uh, disappearances, um, which I believe one of your one of your uh, members, household members, have uh, been acclaimed to have disappeared. Um, the sh the chef fields aren't in right now. They're at a a local performance at the at the Red Salamander. I um, see. I can I can take a message for you if 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 you want to come you, back later. If you would, morning. if you would not be too um, bothered or something, am I allowed to stay for a bit until the Lord or Lord uh Lordess comes back? Um. He like looks inside. Uh. They don't usually allow um, outsiders to enter their home without them being. Of course, here. this is. Uh, of course, I understand, but this is a special case. I'm trying to investigate something that would relate to them, as they would be obviously pretty worried about their son or child uh, disappearing. Roll me a persuasion check. Okay, it's always persuasion. Ooh. Six, and then plus my one. Plus one? Yeah. Uh, he's Wait, not no, no, really... Wait, no, no, plus, been... plus two, actually. Plus two. <laughs> he's still he's still really not having your story. Um, he, uh, I, I cannot do that for you, sir. Um, okay. If you wish to come back in the morning when they return, or if you wish to, like, go down to the red salamander i'm pretty sure they're still there or they're on their way back okay um, so i would if okay. you wanted to wait outside you'd be more than welcome to okay um, i i would wait outside until they are thank you for the hospitality and thank you for answering the door um i'm, I'm very sorry i can't do more for you it is okay my friend you don't need to feel sorry about it i understand the work of um, a household and, ta caretaker, and he he gives you a bow and his like you hear some cracks in his back, um, uh, and yeah he he slowly shuts the door. Yeah, um, I and... I um I give him a bow, a little a gentle bow as well, and start like heading. I start like wait outside. Of course, um, <sighs> and uh. Are you kidding me, dude? Like, did this really crash again? Oh my <laughs> god, what the fuck? Hello. Uh, dude, I don't know what the fuck is going on. Alright, so, um, yeah, so, Canadian, uh, she, uh, as you go back to her, she, you guys have a, a good rest of your night, um, and she, uh, goes it, it it is getting kind of late i i better be headed home okay I well understand. i hope you had a great night i certainly because did i, I um had a hopefully i can meet you or see you again hope so and uh with that she exits the bar and heads off into the night and dies i mean what you don't know that, but maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh, uh, yeah, like so I, I just, I just go. Is Owen done yet? I'm yeah, already I'll, done. I'm in my room Owen's... sleeping, dude. 
Every, yeah, yeah, every it's late late late. from the bar. Yeah, yeah, it's it's like getting close to like one in the morning. Yeah. Also, just out of curiosity, was I paid beforehand for the performance, or have I not been paid yet? You had you were paid half up front and uh, half when the party was done if it was uh, successful. It's at you, this point that was. I realize I don't have a so, room. Yeah, the bartender uh, hands you your gold and you head off. Yeah. As you um, enter your room, you find me drunken out on the floor. <laughs> I did let yeah. you sleep there. You from you? you I, I go. You I go and knock on Owen's door. Yo, can I? Can I have a uh, the other floor space? <laughs> uh, the room when Owen opens the door is is not too big. It has like a twin size bed on it. Um, so, which I have. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'll and see on the floor. It, there's I mean, just enough floor space, maybe where you I, can, I, I, uh, pull, I pull out a uh my bedroll out of my bag and pull it. Yeah, it <laughs> so you can try and like fit perfectly with me. Yeah, I, so <laughs> it, it's gonna be a tight fit with you, you on the floor of Canadian in this room. The room's kind of small. If you can um, fit yourself under the, the cheddar stools, is small, so it's okay. If you can fit yourself under the stools, be my guest. I would really like to have some sleep though. All right. Um. Yeah, and I'll uh, sleep in the roof. <laughs> about thirty-five minutes pass by, uh, Kent. Before you see two people approaching the uh, domicile, or uh, okay. I think it's I think that's the word. Um. Yeah, you see two people approaching the house as two people walk up to you. Uh, Actually, I'm just gonna. I don't need. Hello. I'm gonna go. And yeah, there you see a tall. A uh, stout man, a uh, nicely fine haircut. I uh, um, little mustache. I stand up, uh, like uh, dust my uh overcoat for a bit. <clears throat> Hello, okay. good sir. Um, I'm on behalf of an internal in- investigation team, uh, looking to uh solve the disappearances that have been happening recently. I believe I've been told by the mayor that you have lost um. You, uh, your son has disappeared due to uh, this occurrence. It's, his demeanor becomes much less like uh, much less straightforward and like uh, who are you to a little more softer tone. Um, I, 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 it's like uh, I understand this is a very touchy subject, but. I need. I'm on behalf of the mayor as an internal investigation. I'm looking to solve this mystery and hoping to get your son back, which I assure you he might, uh, will be alive. Because that is quite the assurance to make, Kevin. All right, no problem. I'll, uh, um, my son has been missing for about a week now are you sure he's alive i'm i'm sure as no one would really hurt no one in this wider region as i've met would ever lay a hand on a child they may they may you know the disappearance may have may involve some kind of magical luring as far as i'm concerned he may be in a deep slumber or something, but it is no life-threatening situation, as far as I understand. But I assure you, I hope that your uh, son is alive. But I need to solve this investigation to, uh, to find him. All right. Uh, what can I help you with? Uh, any any way? I I I need to find my son. Do you know where he was going on that on the day of his inter, uh, disappearance? Was he going out to play somewhere in a specific region? Um, Joffrey was uh, okay. was meeting with another uh, family in town mm-hmm. uh, for a. We would call it really a play date, more like an academics, like uh, or an intellectual study, is what his parents call it. 
Wait, how far um, apart is this disappearance and the disappearance in downtown? Uh, the, the downtown. They're they're roughly like two weeks apart. Two weeks apart, so we can't have them been them. So, okay, okay. So, do you know where this family is? Possibly. Uh, the the Briarwoods. They uh, they are in. I hate to say this, the the lower district. He says it with a quieter tone. The lower um, district. Oh, by the way, Kale, I um, I set up my. I changed my mind. I had set up my uh bedroll, uh, on the cliffs by the docks, and I'm just basically watching out to see if anything interesting happens there. Okay. Uh, yeah, um, I'm, I'm under a tree, pretty much in a bush. Uh, all right. Morning? Uh no, it's not. Okay. Oh, I'm still. Are you trying to hide in the bush? Well, I yeah, I guess. Then roll me a stealth check, just to see how stealth you are, and how like how well you put your. You're kind of noticeable, Plus. but <laughs> you think you're hidden, but you think you're hidden. Seven, eight. 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 All right. Uh, yeah. So back to the conversation. Yeah. So you see him mention the family in the lower district, mm -hmm. um, and his wife kind of rolls her eyes. Uh, Joffrey should have never been playing with him. He, his family, is is, uh. Not good enough for our son. Okay, now, now I don't know what you guys would want to be um, discussing about, but I just want to focus on the investigation. But yes, um, so he, this family, do you know? Uh, it's somewhere downtown. Uh, I know it's somewhere in uh downtown somewhere. But do you know? I would assume your child has told you where the, his house is. So, um. We know where the Briarwoods live. They live in the lower district, uh, in the, probably the the right hand corner. Uh, they their neighbors were the first uh, first disappearance within the town. Hmm. It was very unfortunate for for the uh, for the Smiths. Okay, so disappearance in that area. Okay. I understand, sir. Um, I think that is. There will be no more further questions. I know you're, um, by now still, um, having uh, what's the word? What's the word? Uh, solace or solidation, with yeah. uh, about your, uh, child. I will take this information. Hopefully, I will get results. But know that the this, this city cares a lot about its citizens and we are doing everything we can to um to assure our citizens are safe and all fugitives out of the city he has some hope in his eyes as you're saying this um i i really hope so i i hope you can return joffrey to us okay okay uh, and i start like packing most i was writing all of this down if, i start Packing my if, notes. Uh, if you wish to come back in the morning and see Jeff for Joffrey's room, where it happened, um, feel free. Uh, we we will be here in the, roughly the early morning to mid afternoon. I appreciate I appreciate the invitation, and I will certainly keep it in mind. Um, but for now, I need to return back to my investigation team and figure uh, out this new information that has just resurfaced. Thank you very much. I bow down. Thank you very much, uh, sir and ma'am. Uh, please have a good night's sleep. Thank you. You have a wonderful evening as well. And he like gives you a small nod, and the, the wife gives you a curtsy. Um, yeah. So I and bow down. Head, in, head into their estate. Yeah, and then I start returning back to the lake, uh, assuming just to like sit down there to contemplate this new information. Okay. 
And uh, uh, would I be? Would I see monkey there? Roll me a perception check. Okay. Ooh, there goes go the dice. Out oh, three and the plus two. What was what was your roll? It was a you three. Eight. Eight Wait, what? No, I did. No, I, I thought you were talking no. about monkey. I was talking no. about Canadian. Let me just look. Oh yeah, Canadian rolled an eight. Yeah. Canadian rolled an eight. Okay, yeah. So I roll. Unfortunately, you don't see him. Okay, so I just go down, contemplate about this new information. So it's possible that this new this family that has there was a disappearance with this one family, and it was next to this I same house. I hear a rock near him. Yeah, you hear someone walking down the, towards the docks. No, 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 I'm not. And I'm not walking. He, he's like at the he's at the tree tree still, and then he just picks up like a rock or something and throws at me. I guess. Yeah, I throw a rock at Kevin. All right. Can you I reflect? As Can... as you're reflecting on your things, a a rock uh, lands by your feet. <laughs> What the fuck? I turn Stop around. Up here, you, you, turn, you, you turn around as you, you see Monkey uh, just laying precariously in a bush. Like okay. he just kind of laid his bag on the bush. I stealthily... Okay, so I, I get up and I stealthily just walk walk back up the road and then pretend to, like, pretend to walk back up the road but just go in the bush. Yeah, you walk up to him. And yeah, his his bag from what your like sight is 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 not hidden, and he's just like in plain sight, looking really sneaky. You dumb motherfucker! That thing is as visible as a goddamn light in the darkness. Okay, I, 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 okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. I didn't know. Uh, I so I go like as much into the bush as I can with Kevin guiding me, so I'm like not in sight at all, and I get my monkey. And my monkey hops up onto one of the trees, and I use, um, and I use my thing to basically see and hear through the monkey. Okay. Right. So your eyes go white as uh, your vision becomes the monkey's, and you can see down from the tree. Okay, so yeah. as I'm explaining this, what I found near the docks. So, okay, Canadian, I was investigating near the docks. I have found... This bracelet, small bracelet, there are That's scratch kind of colorful beads on it. Yeah, colorful beads. I show him the bracelet. And I also found scratch marks around the dock. There's uh, also I, I walk back over to Kevin with the monkey. Yeah, so by the way, I can't hear you. For fuck's sake. You, you also can't talk when you're in the state either, so <laughs> I thought no, I thought I can talk through the monkey. You no, it doesn't allow you to speak through the monkey. You just get the vision. Like, you you can see through its eyes. It's like if it's 150 feet ahead of you, you, you can. The starting next. Yeah, you can you can see what it is. Like see. Yeah. So if it's 150 feet ahead of you, like checking around a corner, you can see that. I see he's in a trance. Well, I can I can talk normally, like through myself, because I'm only deaf and blind. Yeah. So I can still talk. I just can't. Yes, but you wouldn't be talking to the monkey. That's what I was just clarifying. So I was just talking in a normal voice, just a little bit quieter. Um, so yeah. I found the scratch marks, and yeah. Um, I also found this. I also take out this, the jar that I had, the, the cup, wooden cup that I had. All right. You take out the cup and uncover it. The I don't uncover it. I don't uncover it. I don't uncover it. I don't uncover it. I just... I just not, um okay. I just hold it up to the monkey's thing, just not looking at the monkey, just holding it up, and I bring it back yeah. down. Okay, so I found this in the at the dock underneath the dock uh, boards. This could potentially there is some kind of slimy thing. It's translucent and it feels like air. So I what my guesses are is that we're either dealing with some kind of sentient slime. Or we are dealing with some kind of nymph-like creature. The possibilities that it's a sentient slime is out there. Because you saw what happened uh, back when we faced those uh, f uh, those few bandits. He created a werewolf out of the damn water. So what I'm thinking is that either this is a necromancer's work. Or this is a sentient slime that is... 
able to transform into anything. Canadian? I mean, yeah. uh, I mean, monkey? Yes. Did you hear what I said? Yes. Okay, so what are your thoughts on it? I also, wait, hold on. I also have information that there is, you know what the first disappearance? Where the family? Yes. Near, next to it though, there's a neighbor, there's a neighboring family. It's the no- The- <laughs> <clears throat> professionalism here monkey <clears throat> so i just talked with the um noble's family uh the, the disappearing noble's son uh their family they said that they went to that neighbor uh neighbor's house to go study and that's when he disappeared my suspicions are that that family has something to do why are you rolling Click. Okay. Um, my guess is that that family has something to do with this whole mystery. If we can get them to crack and tell us everything that they know, we might be able to get further into this Go investigation. Them, then. But we need to wait for the rest of the party. I don't know what we will be facing against. Oh, well, there's no time like the present. So... We have two choices here. We can wake up the party now, or we can wait till morning. I would say that you do whatever you want. I'm going to wait here. All right, Holy then shit. we wait for morning then. So right. I get up and I start walking back, uh, start doing some patrols. Um, seeing if there's any uh, nearby thieves that have been caught or something, get them out of the situation. Uh, <clears throat> if if there's any, <laughs> if there's none, then I'm just like um, night watching. Roll me an investigation check. Roll you an investigation. As you're walking around the town. Ooh. <laughs> investigation, and I have a uh, plus one for my investigation, so it's right. eleven. As you're walking around the town, um, nothing seems out of the ordinary. Uh, and then you catch a glimpse out of your the corner of your eye down an alleyway. Down an alleyway. Okay. So you, I... You hear, you hear some garbage cans tipping over as you see a person just like continuously walking over these garbage cans and around the corner. And as they turn the corner and the moonlight hits their face, you can physically see that they are asleep. They are asleep? Okay, so I walk up to him with my torch, and I just tap him a few times. Uh, as you walk, uh, walk up to the man and continue walking with him and try to <clears throat> tap on his shoulder, nothing happens. And he just continues walking. Okay, so I'm going to... Is there a way I can just um, wake him, like slap him a bit? I guess. Make an make an attack roll. <laughs> I don't want to hurt him. I don't... <laughs> yeah, just make it just a base attack roll. You don't. <laughs> you're not. You're not at just attack 18. roll plus your strength. I, plus my strength. Really? That is yeah. minus one, so seventeen. Seventeen. Uh, you roll me a one d six. One d six. I don't want to. I don't want to kill this guy, man. Yeah, don't worry. You're fine. I'm gonna kill him this last Six right. damage. You you smack the shit out of this man. You like backhand this bitch. Like, as uh, as you backhand him, he falls to the ground. Uh, he takes one point of bludgeoning damage as he falls into some boxes, oh. and, uh, um, yeah, that seems to have worked as he awakes. <laughs> Where am I? My friend, you, you have been rummaging through the trash in the alleyway. I tried to wake you up, yet it didn't work. 
I he, he grabs his face and like where you smack. I'm him. I'm sorry. Like, I'm horribly him. sorry that I I did not mean to slap you this hard. I, I thought I was what? giving you a you light. Me? What? What? I, I I'm part I'm what? part of the I'm part of the mayor's uh a uh, mayor civil service a uh, uh, guard if you base so night watch. I just saw you rummaging around there, uh, around trash cans, and I mistaken you for a thief. So I, I like a uh, garbage diver, you roll, know. Roll me a dis, uh, deception check with advantage. Yeah, Kevin, you keep using the whole "I'm part of the guard." <laughs> yeah, because I. You know, I'm part of an adventuring party, and you're helping the guard. Twenty, <laughs> not twenty. Uh, not twenty. Yeah, he totally believes you. Like, uh, I would. I can't believe I was rummaging through the garbage. What? What the? Heck? May I advise? He hello, sir. Um, may I advise you go check on uh near the local doctors to see what's why you're sleepwalking all of a sudden, just rummaging. I uh, because it could happen next time, and um a guard might mistaking you even further for like a I mistaken you for a garbage uh diver. But what? what think about what ha could happen next time. You could go up to somebody and try to. You know, do something to them, and a uh, night guard could see it. There could be he, an inconvenience. He, he seems visibly like horrified that he was rummaging through the garbage. <laughs> Sir, <laughs> may I? I may advise you to look check up on the local doctors and see why that is. I I definitely will be going to see the doctor in the morning. Um. I, I help him up. I just reach out my arm and help him up. Yeah, you help him up, and uh, he still, like, he kind of starts walking off and rubbing the part of his face where you backhand him. And, <laughs> and, and he proceeds to just, like, walk off. But, yeah, yeah. besides I, that, the rest, of you, the rest of your night goes on a bench. Holy shit. So you broke, so I sent that me. man flying towards boxes. I backhanded him so hard that I sent this man flying towards some boxes. Probably didn't crack open a skull from the fall. <laughs> Yo. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Okay. So there's um. So the night's over, I guess. Yeah. As the night as the night comes to an end and morning comes to a beginning. Uh, two seconds. Do, 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 do. I can't believe I backhanded that motherfucker. As you all wake up in your room, um, everyone, if you have any hit dice to expend or uh, yes. um, all your spell slots return to you. Oh uh, God, Come on, give me health. Oh yeah, I need a roll for health. Roll hit points back. Let's go. Wait, it's per day. Yeah, every day. You can expend hit dice, which you have. It'll say under your HP. It, it's like it, your it's your dice you roll for your HP, and then okay. you get like one per level. So so rogue uh, rogue gets um hit points. My hit dice is one d eight. So yeah, I'm level three. Correctly, I can give myself more stuff if I use. You don't get more HP. That's just is used to like heal you. So like. No, I oh, 15. So I'm like pretty extra, sure I'm fully healed. An extra yep. dice, you you fully heal. Uh, you extend all your hit dice, and you you fully heal. I'm still a little bit hungover, but I'm basically fully healed. You're <laughs> I'm, I'm actually right, not hungover. Oh. Yo, let's go. He's not I'm hungover more. anymore. <laughs> okay, so time, now it's morning. I need to go to the tanner shop. Yeah, I'm using Song of Rest. So I get 1d8. Plus curse of proficiency and one d six. Okay, so healing. I'm gonna go first to the Tanner shop instead of meeting up with my guild. As right, soon so as he opens. Tanners. Fifteen health back. So I two seconds. I, I didn't even do that much. Be right. It's okay. I'm full HP anyways. Yes. This is a tannery. Yeah, this is gonna be a tannery. Um. Hola, uh, Shabalisa. Anyways, <clears throat> did he bug out again? No, I, okay. I'm in building mode for two seconds. I see. Quickly. I see you. Spamming some stuff down. I am sorry that I'm mistaken such a thing. Wait, because it's morning. Can I use my um, um infusions? Uh, yeah. If you want to swap out infusions, you can. 
or yeah, I'd like to. I want to infuse like my armor and my shield well, body with enhanced stuff. defense. Alrighty, uh, you as you get up for the day, Cheddar, you sit there and uh, you flow magic into these items, viewing <sighs> them with magic as they. Uh, I just want to click on this fucking torch, bro. Okay, there we go. Cool. Um, yeah. So the the tannery is over right here. All right. So I, I see. An armor class of sixteen and a high. Very legit. District. I'll have nineteen AC. Okay, so I I go in. I go you know, in. And there's many tan hides on the walls. Uh, furs. Uh, stretched out, fresh. Uh, hide. Okay, so I'm gonna walk up to the t uh, shop owner and tell him that I have a skin to like uh, clean uh, clean up and dry it. Uh, tan. Of course. Um. I of course. I take out my werewolf skin and I hand it to him. Ah, werewolf. I haven't had something this exotic in quite a while. Yes, uh, mm -hmm. I had a situation uh, yesterday where I had met a werewolf and he tried to beat me. Yet I, um, I killed him, and I scared. He survived. Them. I scared against a werewolf. Against a werewolf, yes. Oh my god! I, such a really you're such a great adventure. I, I would rather not talk about it. <laughs> I would not rather not talk about it. Can you please just tan the werewolf skin? Um, course, how long um, will it take? It's, um, are you looking to sell this or just, uh, have me tan it? I'm looking to sell this. Uh, it, I could buy this. Just don't come in my shop very often. And he, like, takes out some, uh, like a, a jeweler's spectacle just to, like, inspect the linen. Um. It, it is, I, if I, I do tell you it is a bit ripped when I, I do, I did kind of just like sprained it a little it's a bit some some of it is a bit stretched but most of it is usable uh i can see that looks authentic um i could i could give you uh roughly 30 gold for this 30 gold these, these don't these don't come in my shop very often or any like exotic creatures we mostly just turn cattle hide cattle hide I, as you said, it's exotic. Um, would it? Would I not be able to get a better price than that? You said it doesn't uh, come rarely. I'm sure it's if it's an exotic thing, so it should sell a lot on the market. Um, I'm pretty sure werewolf skin you, is also a bit stronger than any other skin. So. I could I could do thirty thirty five gold is my highest. 35 gold. To, I'd have to sell it or quite you... a markup to get people to interested. Okay, I see. Well, if it, if it would be um, an inconvenience for you, I will take the 30 gold instead. Uh, Alright, he, he, uh, he adds up uh, on an old school calculator with the <laughs> and There's a up... calculator? Okay, sure. It's called yeah, an abacus. They, and they have an abacus back in the day. It's just a bunch of beads that they like. Oh, that. Yeah, that, that. Then, that, then yeah, yeah, I understand. Hey, I'm going to head out for he, the rest he, of the section. He, oh, right, shit. Um, he, he weighs out the gold and uh, um, uh, get, hands you over a small pouch of 30 gold. Okay. 30 gold. That seems okay. Ah, thank you for doing. Uh, I'm happy to do business with you. Um, of course, oh. any any more pelts, please please stop by. Yeah, I certainly will. And I leave. I take my leave. Um, I right. meet up back with the party oh, okay. and tell them the game plan for today. <clears throat> Alrighty. So, everyone, uh, I've just received information that there is possibly a, suspic a very suspicious family. Um, you know the first family that disappeared? The neighbor, the neighboring family next to it, um, it, of course, would not seem as suspicious because it's a disappearing family, the first disappearance. However, the noble family also disappeared uh, near that area, and it was within the family's um, house. 
the noble's family, uh, noble uh, son's family has told me that he went there to study and disappeared suddenly. So we need to head over to that house and investigate what is going on. I have specifically chose this moment the next morning when I could have woken you up yesterday uh, night. But I chose this morning because I wanted you all to get rest up. And we are needing to head over. There could be possible dangers. You remember that necromancer that we faced uh, earlier? Are we at the bar or are we at the tower yeah. floor? Are we? We're at. We're in you're, the room. Uh, currently, you're currently sitting in the the tavern in the morning. You come down, fresh fresh meats, smell. Anyways. There's breakfast beer. It's breakfast, breakfast beer. beer. <laughs> Yo, they, you know, you know, Americans had uh, breakfast for uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I don't know, man. It's a new one. True. Anyways, um, anyway, <clears throat> so, uh, we are possibly needing to go over there and check on the. Why is there a figure just going into the floor? Anyways, <clears throat> so we need to investigate that area and see what's going on. Possibly, we can get more leads. We also need to be careful of what's in that house. If it's the if it's the source of the disappearance, disappearance. You remember that necromancer we faced back in the trail, right? I believe so. I'm scared that we have a possible necromancer that um, is causing these disappearances. Because while I was at the dock near the house where the family disappeared, I found scratch marks uh, somewhere over there. I found a small beaded bracelet like this one. I hold it out and show it to the group. And so I also we have a pope on our hands. And I also <laughs> think and I have this. Inside this wooden cup is like a like a gel, uh, a oh, gel slime. Okay. This will be back in two. Yeah. I think this PC died again. <laughs> From my perspective, there is no reason to believe that that one family caused the disappearance when there's no correlations that have been found. Well, I have, I have suspicions. I didn't say it's that family specific. Suspicions don't matter if you have no logical evidence for it. I do. I have the, I have the, I have the family's words. I have the family's words that. that... Well, you, see, you have one fatal flaw. That doesn't make any sense. And that's only one disappearance. Unless you well, can don't it's you both disappearances way. at that specific area. Okay. Why don't we ask them the, ourselves? I say we have to go find the source of other disappearances, talk to them. Well, if it's them. not, if they're not the main source of disappearance, then we can at least get some information on why their uh, two people disappeared over here and any information on if they saw anything that could possibly help with the investigation. Some reason I don't see them taking quite kindly to this, so I will let you do the talking, and I will sit outside. Sure. We don't have our charisma person, so. Canadian, uh... Canadian uh, is gonna remain in the bar for now. He got. Uh, he'll he'll be hung over. We'll he'll be he got hung over. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's 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 a little hungover from last night and a little Anyways. tired from uh his dance. Hmm. Yeah, as I continue yeah. as I continue my thing. I also found this gel of some sort, this slime uh, a cup of slime. It's 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 strange because it's translucent and it feels like air. It feels like nothing. But can I, it can is I do like a history check on it or something to see if I know anything about it. Do you have proficiency in history? Mm, I have proficiency in Arcana. See if it's magical? See if it's magical? Okay, you can do that. Can I check to see if it's magical, Kale? Uh, roll me an Arcana check. Okay, let me get a dice roller. Because uh, you're not, <laughs> you're not <laughs> you're here. here. Back. I'm back. I'm okay, back. he's oh, back. Fine. Don't worry. Okay. okay. Do this. Uh, yeet. Plus four. Oh, Jesus Christ. So I had a six. Yo, this slime was pretty low tier. Let's keep it. Let's keep the bar low. 
I got a six. I don't think I, I don't think I'm gonna find out much about it. I don't think you're gonna. Um, it does have magical properties. It does oh. have magical properties. So, okay. So I'm. There's two possibilities here, gentlemen. Uh, this slime has not retracted back to its original owner. So I have a slight <laughs> less suspicion of it being a sentient slime, as I told with Canadian. But I do think it's something like it's you know it's that werewolf you know that werewolf that just formed out of the damn water last time. I th I thought the uh, when uh Sakura is that your character's name, Owen? Sir, uh, Siren. Siren. Oh, Siren. 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 Yeah. Well, when Siren pushed that man into the water and then a werewolf emerged, I thought to putting two and two together that the man rose him and turned him into a werewolf. Hmm. That could okay. have been the appropriate solution to that. I so, wouldn't say it was really raising him. I'd almost say it was activating the gene. Could we possibly can... have that kind or of maybe werewolf? That man had, uh, maybe the man was just born a werewolf or something. Or... We Precisely. could be dealing... We have to think about this. We're dealing yeah. with something very fast. And we're dealing with something that can track us. Maybe it's invisible. <clears> hmm. <throat> the woman. The woman definitely. Remember the woman that we helped over to Ember Hold. Ember Rock Key Hold. Uh yes. Uh, she I definitely think... felt something. She said she definitely felt something and saw saw, saw a blur, but she did not catch what she saw. Well, I have. Going to see if she. Uh... Is okay for the one because I, actually I, yes let's check up on her and see if she, we can get any more information out of this that would be a good idea okay. Alrighty. so everybody walks so, to the medical center um uh, medical town to the, yeah to the to the, like the yeah you walk over you walk over to the medical center at the guard post it's uh in this uh general vicinity over here within this in this like area there's some guard towers. There's uh, another outcropping building with a like a medical green like white plus sign on it, uh, and um... um. So I walk up to this guard and I introduce myself. <clears throat> Hello there, uh, good sir. Uh, I'm on behalf of uh, me uh, internal investigation upon the di recent disappearances of the citizens in this town i'm sure you've heard of it oh yes i have um the, the disappearances have been quite awful and tragic to hear yes but many families that. are affected deeply about this so we are here to figure out what is happening and we have brought in we while on the way here back to uh ember rock hold we found a woman uh injured She's um white shirt, white buckled up uh shirt. And um she I think she's in here as she was injured and we brought her here to get um, medical attention. Oh yes. Uh she is she's laying in the the third cottage to the right when you enter. Um if uh she's still laying about. Um we have patched up all her wounds. Uh uh she's Seems to be cohesive and awake. Okay, so third cottage to the right, right? Yep. Okay. Um, you see, you see four like uh, four like setups, just like tents, just okay. eight all in line. Okay, so um, I go, I I ask if I can visit her. Of course. Um, if you. Uh, need assistance, please shout out for any of us. We are more than welcome to come assist you. Okay. Thank you, sir. Um, so me, uh, so the party goes, uh, well, I take my way to the cottage over there. All right. To... You, you walk through the, the, you open up the drape as you walk into this room. It's a nice little uh, cleanly room. Mm -hmm. uh, cottage bed. She's laying on it. Uh, she kind of, she's turned away from you right now. Okay, so um, I knock on the door just to be polite. Knock on the door and let her know I'm entering. 
as you knock on the door, she like she turns around to see who it is, and uh, her face kind of has a dark expression on it. I um I um I I leave uh Cludwin out of the door out of the room. I think she remembers what he did to her leg. So I just like I I just like down at her legs now that you mention it, and you see splints on both of her legs. I um I tell I tell Cludwin, hey, maybe you should stay out here. Coldwin? She's she uh, Coldwin, not Cludwin. Cold Cold Coldwin, Coldwin, whatever. You need to stay out here. You have fucked up massively. No, I am going to apologize. I, mm, I don't think that would be a smart decision, little man. You calling me little? I yes. Go ahead and knock you down a peg if I remove your legs, and then we're on the same height. I look back and I I look back. So I look back in the room. What's her expression now? Or has it changed? You've been arguing with someone that she can't see. Uh, it hasn't really changed. Okay, so I was like, <laughs> okay, she, look, scared. she has a grim look on her face. Are you sure you want to do this? She, you know at least she remembers you. <laughs> um, so at I am... Right now. Okay. Lu uh, Cheddar. <laughs> Wait, he re she remembers me, right? Yeah, she remembers you, and, like, because you were with the party. Um. Okay, so... Look, Coldwin, she seems pretty confused about, like, she uh, she looks like she only recognizes me at the moment, at some recon uh, cognitive she recognition. Can't see me. She, she can't see me. What the, like, what are you talking about? Um, I look back, and I, I turn back to, like, Cheddar immediately. Okay, so are you sure you want to do this? I don't want to screw this up. Of course. Okay, then be my guest. You go in first. Alright, with my, my pleasure. So, I let, I let <laughs> Cludwin go in first. Alright, Cludwin, you enter the... Uh, <laughs> You're calling me Cludwin! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, what is your you name? You <laughs> I know, sorry, what is your name pronunciated for me? Coldwin. Coldwin. Coldwin, okay. So it's like Cauldron, but Coldwin. times. Yeah, Coldwin, yeah. you enter the, uh, the establishment. And uh, she goes from like a, a slight horror to like that dread look. Uh, okay, I look I look in there and I drag. I she grabs the blanket and like brings it up to her face. No, 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 okay, okay, okay. So so I run immediately inside and I grab uh, Cludwin. Uh, Club Col Col Cludwin. Wearing a heavy armor. I I stop him. Okay, I try to stop him. I was like, okay, how? I'm in front of him. I was uh, like, okay, hold on, hold on. I think she's she's mortified about your appearance. Um, I think you should. What, what do you want? What do you want from me? Uh, okay, so so um, um I'd, I... Like to, I'd like to throw. I'd like to here. Can I like hand? What the hell's Owen's character name again? Siren. Siren. I'd like to hand Siren, no, Siren. my my hand axe. <laughs> You you take off your hand axe and take it out as she like <laughs> okay so starts to tear up and like no 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 I run over I run over and consult her I run her I and some of that fear goes away as you okay I, I I run over I run over and consult her okay consult her while she's like you're okay. a tearful I'll stay, I'll stay right here by the door and I'll get a little bit and like. <laughs> I'll stay here right here by the door. I will not move any more forward towards Fucking <laughs> you've caused I'm enough trouble. You stay there. The Man Shut the fuck up. I'm trying to speak, okay? Let Look, me she speak. she looks to you with a hastefully manner. <laughs> what, I'm very what, do want, what do you want from me? I'm very sorry for the damages we caused. Well I <laughs> I don't think sorry can do it, man. <laughs> um we have come with we, we're, you know, we're adventurers. We're here to help with the problem. Oh, uh, you sure uh, as hell didn't help, help her with her legs. Um, oh, you, you, you hurt my legs. I'm not gonna. Not gonna okay, to okay. So, so, uh, before. Well, before. Uh, 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 okay, so yeah. I, I uh, immediately put my hand uh, over, uh, over, uh, Cludwin's, 
uh, called Cludwin's uh, mouth and oh, said, "Okay, so not another." From Kevin, you're starting to like get tired. <laughs> Shut up. Rush towards me. You rushed over to her. Now you're back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you like are trying to be the the mediator in between those. Okay, I put, <laughs> I do that, and I say, "Not another word. Not another word. God damn it." Okay, I'll handle the talking from here. Not another word. Both of them, and decide to instead leave them to argue amongst themselves and get the information myself. <laughs> Just kicks us out of the room. Hold on, get out. Precisely. <laughs> Bruh, I look at I look at Cyrus like, okay, bitch, you want to do she this? She doesn't All right, fine. really. Uh, she remembers you, but she doesn't like. Uh, she she passed out from the pain, so she doesn't remember who. And she remembers Cheddar hurt her, but like besides that, yeah. she doesn't remember anything else. So, well, I mean, past that point. Get her a okay. of flowers, but you have caused her. such a trauma to her that as she you, remembers as after she passes it out. As you continue to arc. Well, if you didn't go ahead and just get, fucking get in my way of speaking, I could have tried and cleared things up. But no, you had to go ahead and just. Oh, um, no, 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 no. I give him five. I gave I gave Cheddar five pieces of coin. All right, go buy yourself a nail. Damn. All right. <laughs> like, instead, with this money, I will throw it into the river and I will get her some. Make a wish. Myself. Throw it into the river and make a wish. God oh, damn it. Hold on two seconds. I'm coming back. But yeah, you you call you sit down next to her. Um. Uh, <laughs> still a parent. What would you like argument. to ask her? She is. Visibly, like, kind of starting to hyperventilate, and uh, looks kind of scared. Okay, so I turn around. I see this. I was like, okay, I'm gonna stop arguing. I'm gonna, uh, whatever. You're, you I'm gonna be quiet. Outside the tent, currently. You were outside the house. Oh, okay. Never mind that. I, I'm I arguing. Up and pushed you out, bro. I just sit down very calmly next to her. Put my hand on her own arm, and she like pulls back down. a bit. Pull back a little bit. Down. Calm down. All fine. You're gonna be okay. Uh, you are in no harm here. Not while I'm in. After like five to seven minutes, she starts to like stop hyperventilating. Um, she doesn't really trust you. It doesn't seem like she trusts you, but uh, she starts to calm down. Okay. okay. I. Are you okay with answering a couple questions? And I want to roll I, persuasion. I think I think I could go ahead um, and roll persuasion on before I even answer that. I got twelve plus seven, nineteen. Nineteen, yeah. Um, I th I think I could answer a, f a few questions. Okay. So the first thing I like to ask before we all found you injured in that field, do you have any clue what was near you at the time? She she looks at you. And it was a it was a nice day out. Uh, there was a lot of birds singing. Um, the the grass was swaying in a very lovely manner, as I would made my way to Ember Rock. Um, then uh, something. Uh. Uh. Uh, and like she kind of has uh, a look of um, she's she starts to become really confused on where her thoughts are okay, when she so gets to the point of of what happened to her. Possibility number one: this this monster causes confusion. Okay, that's interesting. Did you um, did you feel anything? Around the time when you were attacked, or was it just kind? Of, was it kind of sudden, and there was no kind of warning that you felt? Um, I, I, it was more sudden, but when I when I awoke, I I didn't have any bruises, or scratches, or anything. It, I just remember. Passing out and awaking on the road from and um, please don't nail me. Please don't nail me. The coffin. 
Oh. Uh, she. Uh, um. Yeah. She just kind of looks confused. She. She. Yeah. Looks kind of confused. Oh. I'm okay. Just... Okay, so I'm listening through this in the door. Question. I've I've just had enough with. Uh, what, what's your What's your next question? Do you remember anything from the time when you woke up to when you met us? Was there any kind of time in between that? Do you know? She just I, said she does not. From the time I met you, uh, uh. Some, some, I saw a peculiar, uh, uh, peculiar thing happen. I, I saw a, ch a child um, walk walk deep into the forest. He was by himself. He couldn't have been more than ten. And that was that was that was in between the time that between you finding her and her waking up. Okay. How long has she been there? Did you see which way they went? Um, they went uh, north up into up into the mountain. The mountain. Okay. Thank you for your patience and your time. I appreciate your answers, and I hope for a fast recovery for you. Um, thank you. Um. So you walk out. Yeah, you walk out. So how did it go? It went surprisingly well. I think I I think I know where we need to go. Um so mountains. I heard something about the mountains. Could it possibly be the noble's child? I do not know. Did you ever get an age from the child? I did not. Hmm. Well I, I think it's I think it's a solid enough lead. It gives us somewhere to go. Alright, so we adventure into the mountains then. The mountain forest, I assume? That would be the wrong way. Yeah. As um as you head off, uh you go I don't really wanna like push too far into this without Canadian. Yeah. Oh, I okay. mean, there's one place I, I actually do wanna go somewhere and buy some healing potions before I leave since um, I spent all yeah, my time in the bar any, yesterday. Anything we wanna do before you guys leave town. Okay, uh, so okay. I would want to I want to go to the household that the nobles told me about. Yeah, of course. Um, you go back. The estate is beautiful in the morning. Uh, all the hedges, all the bushes. No, are I I meant spread. I meant more like downtown. That uh, more more. Oh, in the lower district. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. So <laughs> you go into the like to the nobles' uh, house that is in the lower district. It's still nice. Um. But it's it's not anything like the upper district. It's it's still like a lower it's class like, home. It's like a high class. It's like Hollywood. <laughs> yeah, it's like Hollywood. It looks fancy, but it's 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 not really that fancy. Okay, for so the area. I would knock on the door, and as you knock on the door, um, a middle aged man answers. Uh, yes. Hello, uh, sir. Um, I presume you are the, uh, the, how, uh, one of the households members um, yeah, that live here? Yes, I, I own, uh, this estate. Um, what, what may I help you with? Is your family around, possibly? I need to ask everyone, uh, like, e your family a few questions. Um, my we wife are... is out. Okay, um, uh... I am with the, uh, mayor i'm with the um part of the mayor civil servants and i would like to have a few an uh, questions answered about the recent disappearances um the the guard from the the castle already came to talk to me last last week 
last week. What did he ask you? Um, if he has seen uh, my daughter, uh, or if I have seen my daughter any time in the past uh, past two weeks, um, he asked uh, where uh, uh, the events took place. Wait, uh, so hold general, on. General, general questions. Wait, so have you? Has there been any disappearances within your household? My daughter went missing uh, roughly uh, four weeks ago. Okay, so do you know? Do you remember? Recollect um uh, a time when um someone another child came here uh to study with your daughter. Oh, the the bot uh. Briarwoods, and then the, yeah, the Lovely. the Briarwoods family. Oh, of course, uh, their son comes to play all the time. Comes to play, huh? Do you know? Do you know what happened on the day of his disappearance? From what I could tell, when he came over, he was a bright and cheery boy. Um, bright and cheering boy. Okay. He came over with his uh, study books and the two, our, my daughter and him sat down and at the table and he shows you uh, the the table like just inside the, the doorway. You can see the dining table through two more door sets like in the back. Okay. Um, he was sitting right over there and they were they were studying and after that they, they went out to play in the backyard and um to my recollection joffrey made it home he made it home so you saw him leave your house right yes do you know which way which direction he took to get back to your house um was it to he... through the normal paths of the city or was it through an off-road uh position he seemed to take a different route this time than normally. He normally comes from up the up uh up uh Sapphire Drive and he he went down uh uh gra uh graphite graphite uh graphite road. Okay, hold on. I like to remark drive excuse me yeah, just just yeah roll <laughs> i don't it. think oh, this 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 town is more <laughs> modernized than i i would imagine <laughs> just just roll with it for now okay? just roll okay. with it okay just mm -hmm. roll with it okay so hmm so what path did he take that day do you remember he went down the the uh, he went the opposite way the opposite from where he way? normally lives I assume that he just took a long route to his house. Was there anything off about him that you remember seeing? Like, something that doesn't seem right during his stay with you? He... To my recollection, seemed normal. Um, and then, like, he thinks about it for a second. Um, when he left, he did seem a little off like like something just like wasn't right um with his with his uh with his mind can you point me to the direction that he headed do you remember like the mountains or like through the streets of the city um, he points down to the right. Normally, he comes from the left. He points to the right, and uh, it's a long road leading down. Uh, you've taken this road to like get to the blacksmith, and it and there's a path leading back into the town. Um, the blacksmith, and then to the town. Yeah. Okay. So, like it. It's it's more of the longer path to get into back into town. I can see. Okay, I see that. All right. Um, I think I have no further. Actually, how old was your daughter? My daughter was roughly about thirteen. 
Do you remember how old um, the young noble was? Joffrey, he, I believe he just turned, um, I believe he just had his 10th birthday. 10th birthday. Not too, not too long ago. 10th birthday, Joffrey, and your daughter was, I I forgot again? Age of, age of 13. 13, okay. 13 and 10, that's a difference of 3 age. Okay, thank you. Um, I think that will be all the questions for now I have. Um, I certainly hope to find your daughter. I know that if, this if, is... If you have any information, please, please let me know. I will certainly it relay it. Seems to you. a little worried. I will certainly relay it to you. And I, I see, I see you're a bit worried. You have nothing to fear. I am sure she is a strong girl, and she is, yeah, I think she's a strong girl still out there. She, she quite is. I hope she is. Anyways, I pack up my notes. I bow to him and. Thank him for his time. All right. So I uh, walk. Okay. I walk to the black. Okay, you want to do blackouts thing? Yeah, I'll do. Do Owens. Uh, you go. You go to the general store, um, or the or the or the magic shop. Either either or usually no, carries I trust, potions. I trust the magic shop a little bit more. Not gonna lie. Alrighty. Yo, Very you might get a discount if you bring in CDN. And you see, you see the the girl standing behind the desk that you saw last night at the bar. Um, she goes, "Oh, you, uh, oh, Barbary, you know, you, your monkey's friend." <laughs> okay, I, I I'm surprised you wish. <laughs> I have been traveling with him, yes, and I am here to actually do business with you. Oh, very well. What um, what may I help you find today? Uh, I am here looking for some bulk healing potions. Bulk healing potions. Hmm. Didn't Canadian um, also buy bulk healing potions? We just got two in in our stock left for healing potions, and then um, she like she brings up a a box and like has to physically. <laughs> And like set down the box. Um, Don't worry, guys. She's a strong and independent woman. True. True. Um, uh, How much was the price for Canadians? I forgot. 50, 50 gold each for the common potions. <laughs> <laughs> and they're common by the way they're not like exclusive exotic yeah. they're not greater they're not superior and normally they're 100 gold <laughs> they're not lesser either they're not lesser either yep you should get a lesser <laughs> i don't think you can afford then that we have, and then we have uh three lessers for uh 25 a piece 25 a piece She's she's driving a hard buy, bargain. So, if I were to buy one like one of your normal potions and both of and all of your lessers, would I be able to get a discount just simply for buying in bulk? I think he just disconnected. Oh, never mind. Bye bye, Kale. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> he has again. he has disintegrated. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna punch this shit, dude. Like, <laughs> me? <laughs> He's on his phone. Yeah, but so like twenty, twenty-five gold a piece for three potions each, if you want those, and then like. He's asking. So Blackout just piece. asked whether he could buy in bulk and get a discount, just like Canadian. If you buy in bulk, um, you might be getting all the lessers in one normal one. Plus two, um. It'd be a hundred and ten gold. A hundred and ten gold. Hmm. Would there be any way I could potentially get the price down just a little bit? Or is that the Persuasion, only my friend. <laughs> I'm taking off uh, two of the potions for this cost and marking down the third. Uh, the normal potions um uh full price 
full price. Let's see. So 110 is with all the markdown and whatnot. Yes. Hmm. <laughs> well, I suppose it wasn't necessarily hurt to grab this. I do have the money for it. It'd be, so like, I... it'd be like 175 normally. Oh, oh why are you buying healing potions? You're a barb. You can help us with your magic. <laughs> I have one healing spell. I need more. Bar but, bards uh, are not uh, clerics. I know. The best healer. Just because I have healing does not make me a healer. You, that you is, are. That is very true. You are, as far as I'm concerned, a healer until we get a I better am one. Under no circumstances a healer. <laughs> Bruh. I I will buy all of that. You said 110. Uh, yes. Yes, 110. All right. I hand over a bag full of bag box whatever I can fit it all in. True. Full of gold. Um, you... Who had the bag of holding? Canadian. Canadian? Uh, yeah, Canadian would be with you. And he, he can just... give the bag of holding full of gold. Yep. May hey, maybe, maybe <laughs> you could say... For the gold and hey. dump the potions into the bag of holding. Hey, hey, well, Blackout. Blackout, use, use Canadian. Use Canadian as a weapon. <laughs> then... I don't think I can sell his body without consent. <laughs> Uh, that's what sex is. In your bag, yeah, you'd have just you'd have enough space to fit these. Use Canadian as a weapon of a negotiation. Yep, three lessers and one, uh, and two and two normal health potions. Okay. Is there anything else you would like to buy, sir? <laughs> no, I believe that's it. Ah, uh, I see. Yeah. All right, uh, Cheddar, you, I mean, uh, Cludwin. Do you have anything? Like, did you just call me Ludwin? I said Ludwin. Caldwin, uh, what would you like to do? <laughs> um, I'd like to just converse with the blacksmith, talk about blacksmith stuff. Oh, okay. would you look um, at that? I'm also headed to the blacksmith to do some questioning. You you go to the blacksmith. Um, he's ha he's vigorously hammering a hot uh red piece of metal, and as you come up, and he uh lifts his uh makeshift welder's mask kind of like really makeshift um uh oh it's you it's you oh Come yeah. back. Uh, yes i decided to uh show up and just converse converse what what would you <clears throat> what are you trying to converse about anything really uh I, I, there's one thing I do want to know, though. Is, is there a florist anywhere that sells flowers? Florist? Uh, yes, we have a florist in what? town. What? Why do you need Fa flowers? Fa Fauna Fa Fa Flower is, is the florist. Fauna Fa Flowers. Okay. Why do you need and, a florist? Um, uh, yeah, I just kind of want to talk about blacksmith stuff with him, you know, just to pass the time. Yeah, so you, you chat with him and have, uh, have a decent conversation with this man. Um, you know, because uh, I was trained for like most of my early years as a dwarf by my father. All right, so you know, could maybe teach him a couple of things or something. I don't know. Is that all yeah. you're gonna do? Just talk with him? Yeah, and then maybe go to the florist, drop off the flowers at the one woman's house, and pay my dues. Okay, so um, I'm going to wait. Uh, just be uh, just like on the wall of the blacksmith shop, and just wait until you're done. Yeah, you see Canadian conversing with the blacksmith. Canadian? Oh man, these, no. these tools I have, they are top notch. I just made them. It's not Canadian, it's <laughs> cheddar, but okay, yeah. I'm sorry. Names are They're... hard. Yeah, names are hard. Right names now. are I hard. I, I already don't remember Owen's character name. It's uh, Siren. <coughs> Siren. Yeah. It'll way. be, it'll be a section or two before yeah, everyone it, gets everyone's name done. Way. I have it lined up with like you know like the sirens in Greek mythology and how they work. Yeah, yeah same idea. That's why I named her Siren. Well, except instead of singing, you literally just seductively dance. You see, yes. It does. It's not what I would want to like, see. Like, oh, it does the macarena, and like women just fucking start pulling the tops off. <laughs> he, he he pulls up um his tongs, his special tongs, and like shows them to you. He, like, with great intent. Quirky white girl, <laughs> busted down sexual style. She go in with the sauce. Uh, these, these were, these were a family heirloom. I, I can't, can't imagine what this would, uh, 
it would be like if I ever lost this. Potential side I mean, quest? <gasps> oh! <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? Maybe um, I'll steal it. <laughs> Alright, well, time to murder this motherfucker right now. I heard you outside well, the door just giggling to yourself. What, what do you mean? I heard- I, I didn't say anything. I said it OC. OCC. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying. I mean, oh, OC. Uh, with, is there anything else I can help you with today? Uh, besides uh, us uh, talking about these fine tools? He has work to get uh, back to, you know? Nothing really. Um, I think I'll be on my leave to the forest now. Thank you very much. Of course. You have a wonderful day. And what's your name? I never- I don't think I caught your name. Uh... Josiah <laughs> McGiggins. Josiah McGiggins. A beautiful fucking name. <laughs> McGiggins! Uh, right, thank you very much. I wish you- I wish you the best, and I- I- I, uh... I wish to, uh, talk to you again someday. That was a great conversation. Yeah, uh, me he too. has a smile on his face, and, uh... Seems all cheery to have talked about uh, smithing, smithing tools and how he crafted them. Okay. Um, so as you leave, I look towards you. Uh... <laughs> on, I'm gonna bump your shoulder and just walk away. I was like, "Hey, you heading to the florist? Going to go pick up some ladies?" It's either I, Kevin. It's either I punch you in the shoulder or I knock you with my shoulder. It's either I punch you or I just. Fucking knock you and walk by. I have reflexes, what, so what do you want? I can, <laughs> I can pretty much dodge it. You're at the wall. I like, I'm, I'm at the wall, yes, up. but I also have the perception of a fucking goldfish. You have the perception of a goldfish, or that means you don't know I'm coming. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's a good. Uh, what has a good reflex? Cat? I don't know. I don't know. What's I don't... your uh, What's your passive perception? Passive perception. Yeah, that's like just that. my wisdom, or is that just my perception? Hold on, two seconds. I'll let you know. Passive perception thingy below all your stats. Mine's twelve. Uh, twelve. Mine is right. uh five. Uh, no, three. Mine's a three. Wait, how do you how do you figure out your passive perception? It is what just you your perception you stat. Score okay. by adding uh ten to their per perception modifier. Yeah. Wait, ten to ten. Right? Wait, what? So you add 10 to your perception modifier, and that's your passive yeah. perception. Oh, yeah, that's... So, like, this is, like, you just sitting on a wall, and you're, like, looking at a crowd of people, and you can, like... Oh, see, then like, mine's oh, a 13. The bad guy, like... Mine's yeah, a 13. You have a 13, yeah. So if, uh... Whew! So you see, you see, it's pretty good vision. You see Canadian kind of, like, walk up to you. Okay, this is me. God damn it! I'm fucking. <laughs> it's... Yeah. Hello. Hello. A lot of names that start with Ludwin. C. So Ludwin. <laughs> Yo, you see I Caldwin see. Caldwin, up to you. Hey, Cludwin. What, are you going to the florist today? I I will punch you in the gut. Can I roll the punch him in the gut? Yeah, go ahead. Roll an attack roll. But can I dodge it? <laughs> well, if he misses. If he misses. Oh fuck, uh, he misses. He, he doesn't miss us. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Oof. Oh, my stomach. He <laughs> faster. And then I'll, I'll, I'll just walk off. <laughs> I'm a fucking. Throw me a 1d4. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, bet. No, no, it's a 1d6. Never mind. Roll a 1d6. <laughs> Yeet. You, you take three points of bludgeoning damage. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 you fucking bastard! As he walks off, I pull out my gun and I aim it at him. And then fire! Oh, all right. Roll an attack roll, like. Oh boy. <laughs> and then plus plus my five, plus my five. Yeah. As you so go to sick. shoot, uh. The the gut punch is, is is causing you your vision to like go blurry and you take the shot and it completely flies about five feet away from uh Caldwin's body and just impacts a tree. 
Uh, I quickly put it away. I quick. I quickly put it away. It wasn't me. I'm still fucking holding over my gut, man. I don't know what the fuck that was. Bandit yeah, or something. Nice persuasion. I roll persuasion. I roll persuasion. I roll persuasion to get out of this. No, you don't. Roll no. Deception. Oh, deception. Yeah, let's go. That's a better modifier for me. How do we know he per he just because he's he's trying to deceive you by like hiding his gun? And, Eighteen uh, plus my five. Roll me a uh, perception check, Cheddar. Eighteen plus I my. Any, I have to. I, either I roll a not twenty or nothing because he has a, he has something above a twenty. Plus five. Twenty-three. Ooh. Uh, it's nothing. It's nothing, mate. Uh, it was a bandit somewhere. I saw him just run off. Uh, I'll go get him after I fucking... After you, yeah, I you recover from your... You damn don't see his snout. Um, uh, you just... You see him, like, holding his gut. and But you definitely did hear a gun. Can I, yeah, can I keep suspicions on that, though? <laughs> yeah, you can be suspicious, but, like, you oh, you, yeah. you did not see him fire. Let's say that I, yeah, I didn't see him fire, but like you know, yeah, I'll say it must I have been your imagination. I don't know. I, I just look over at him. It's like he looks over me. I look over at him, and I just keep a keep a uh, try to keep a painful pa painful like uh expression expression. Yeah. Just like ma make sure that she he thinks that it was just his imagination or something. Oh, <laughs> so, you too. What was so. that? I heard that. What's going what? on? What? Nothing. It was nothing. It was um. As as some guards walk over. What was that sound? I'm asking the same thing. It was some branches oh, over there. Uh, Loud ass branches. Uh, I think uh, someone's uh, playing with dynamite in the f uh uh with uh in the distance. Oh fuck. He put also guard, he punched me in the gut uh it's nothing, Bo. Yeah, you better keep that mouth fucking shut. So do I have Everything to Everything seems to be alright here. You guys keep in line, and they walk off. Yeah, no, no problem. <laughs> Fuck you, you What on earth are you both thinking? Fuck, he punched me in the gut, man. <laughs> I does it look like I care? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Past my head, I don't know. Does what, it look like I, I care? Have no. Um. Anyway, I'm gonna ask the blacksmith something. I full will, I can stop both of you if I feel like it. Aha, uh -huh, yeah, you can. Sure, you can. Try me, doll. I'm 100% sure I could stop you both, but as long as you manage to keep yourself behaved around each other. You can't charm me. Yes, I can. No, you can't. I have a, I have a trait that makes sure that you doesn't. I What's the trait? Um, I think it was... Uh, shit, it was an elf, right? I'm pretty sure. An elf has the trait of... Okay, you have the advantage on saving throws against being charmed. Fey and ancestry. Yeah, so you'd, you'd have advantage throws, so like you'd roll for advantage. Yeah, so and advantage. yeah, he can, he can charm I can me. Still com I can still command and you, mat And magic can't put me to sleep. So yeah. yeah. I can command you, though. If the charm is successful, yes. Yes. You'd be able to yes. command him. I don't actually need to command or I don't need to charm it to command someone command just so that I speak a one word command and is it, if they fail their saving throw they just do it yeah so it's a charm yeah. it's a charisma saving throw so yeah, I get an advantage a, it's not a charm though you just, just yeah, command, command. It could, like, command is like you speak someone, someone in someone's ear and be like you walk forever this way and then they it's do one, it it's a one word command I can, I can command them to just yeah. flee or halt Flee, Bruh. fall, to walk, uh, sit. Okay, uh, it can't be harmful to them. Yeah. Whatever. I still consider it a charm, but okay, sure, yeah. How is that a charm? Okay. Because you're t you're persuading someone to do something. You're not. I'm you're not like. Command. You're not. You're not a general. Yeah, you're not. Spell. What's you're not. Spell. Command. Command. You're not, uh, you're not you're not yelling at me. Blackout, you're not yelling at me. Do this stuff and then I just get oh, intimidated. Wait, wait. That would be an intimidation oh, yeah. saving check. <laughs> you said like, whisper. You, you said whisper. You said you nothing. Sp you speak a one word command to a creature you can see within sixty feet. The target must succeed in a wisdom saving throw or follow the list or Bruh. follow the command. The spell has no effect if it's undead. Yeah, it's not a, it's not a charm. 
It's just a command. Uh, whatever. I can tell you. I can tell you to like stand now. Like drop your weapon. Sure, you can tell me to stand, but I'll always pull out my gun. I can tell you to drop your weapons. Ah uh, yes. Yeah. If you if you pull out your weapons, he can ask you to drop them, and if. Oh uh, yeah, fail, that would be another one. Would just you would just drop them. Yeah. What do I have to do? Like just pass his armor class? I'm pretty sure that's pretty easy, right? No, it's just no, pass just well, wisdom, wisdom save throw. against his wisdom save. Oh, okay, I see. As long as he rolls a this is like a low number. No, or something. you would roll against his spell save DC, so like Yeah. Yeah, you'd, yeah so you'd have to roll higher than a fifteen. Uh, higher than fifteen? Okay, higher sure. 13. If you ever did that. I have thirteen. Okay. Whatever. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna go question the blacksmith now. All right. so I, have a, I have a quick question about that shield. Yeah. Do I hold it with my hand or is it strapped onto my arm? It's like it has straps for your arm. Oh fuck yeah! So yes, I can continue to hold my hand axe and I can still spell focus out of my hand. Fuck yeah! Oh my god. Right, cool. Anyways, <clears throat> so I walk up to the blacksmith. Hello, good sir. Hello. Morning. What can I do for you? Uh, wonderful, wonderful morning. Do we have here? Uh, unfortunately, this isn't entirely a social call. Um, I want to ask, have you um? Do you know what happened to, on the day of, uh, what was his name again? What was the noble's son's name? The day Joffrey was jo Do you know the what happened on the day of Joffrey's disappearance? Um, I have... Um, have you seen I did, him? I did see young Joffrey roughly uh, two weeks ago. Two uh, weeks ago, yes. Yeah, that would was be... the most recent one. That uh, would be the day of his disappearance, yes. Yes. Uh, I saw him walk past my uh, uh, smithery uh, down the road. He waved to me. Um, seemed bright and cherry. Bright and cherry, as all things should be. But do you do you know where he headed off to? He seemed to head out of like off in the the coastal area. Um, coastal area. Past. Like the wall heads up to the wall of a town heads up to a ridge mm -hmm. where like it's still kind of mountainous and you can kind of get around the wall if you trek around it right. Yeah. Uh huh. So he went that direction. You said he. Yes. So he sometimes okay. tries to sneak out and he goes into the into the uh 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 fields and plays out there and alone by himself i assume he brings friends once in a while i don't really know okay. what he does out there okay okay i think that i that's just the question i wanted to ask i'm we're leading uh I'm part of an internal investigation team that is working on solving the disappearance of these uh, recent disappearances. Um, and oh I'm just questioning around to see if I can get any holdings on what's happening around here. But thank you for your time. That is all the information I needed. Thank you. Of course, of course. I bow and I leave. Back in my all notes. Right. Okay, so um, does any of you have anything else to do, or do you guys want to trek somewhere? I don't I mean, think I have anything to do. I mean, I still have to go to that florist and do that stuff. Okay, you go to the florist then. I'll come with you. I right, won't. You two, you two head off to the florist. Uh, I reload you, my gun. You go to the yeah. You you go to um, the mark the bazaar and. You find a nice uh, stall filled with beautiful bouquets and different kinds of uh, floral uh, presentations, um, and you find a uh, a a woman with uh, wooden antlers uh, tied to a headband and uh, made of leaves, and she goes, "Oh, hello! What can I help you with today?" Um. I Why does she sound for, British? Uh, I am looking for British uh, people. Um, flowers that would be suited for a deep, haunting apology. Apology. Um, flowers for an apology. Hmm. And she like uh, she sorts some flowers out and 
there's like some dark sapphire blues there's some uh whites in there there's some uh yellows and almost looks like the night sky uh kind of like with gleaming stars in the background um this is what we tend to give out for um for for apologies and uh forgiveness i see all right, all right. um uh, I'll take I'll take the ones with the it's you said that there was flowers that look like the nighttime sky. Yes. Um uh, then yeah. wrap up the little bouquet she made. Uh this will cost you about three gold. Alright, uh, I'll hand that over. Here we go. As you hand her three gold, she hands you the bouquet. Um Yeah. Anything else I can help you with? Um, Her card smells lovely. It has good scents. There's little oils on the side. Do you perhaps have like a card and maybe something to hold these flowers in? Like a um, container? Paper to write on. Um, I have some notepad paper. kind of, Not notepad, but like some assorted papers that haven't yeah. been written on. Um, and an uh, and, uh, ink pen. All right. Um, and, and a container, like a vase. Or do vases exist um, in this farm? We do sell vases. They cost, uh, um, they can get quite expensive depending on what you want. Um, since they're all handcrafted, uh, it'd be a roughly two, three gold per vase. Uh, okay, I'll buy a vase. All right, you buy. Do you want to buy a, a fancy vase for three gold, or do you want to buy like um? I'll buy a fancy vase. All right, you need three gold for a fancy vase. It colorful, uh, has some sparkle to it. Um, you'd... um, yeah, and you have a oh. fancy vase filled with a beautiful be bouquet of roses. All right, um. And then she gave me paper, uh, and there's paper and ink and pen I can write on? Yeah. Um, so I'd like to write about how terribly sorry I am for breaking the poor woman's legs. Um, I hope that we can make amends and that you no longer need to be scared of me and have to be reminded of that, of those terrible memories. And I hope you a good mm. recovery and a good life and a Dude, good, nice what? life. What? Can you, uh, like, what game? Board update failed on hand. What? Mm -hmm. What does that error mean? You, is that okay? <clears throat> you guys are seeing the map, right? Like, you guys can yep. see the map. Yeah, we're yeah. all going Why? Why am I not able to see the map now? I'm confused and upset you think with this. All restart? Uh, just all restart? No, I, I don't know. Right, hold on, give me two minutes. It could help. Hammer rock hold. Oh, you're in now. And then it says I'm in, but let's see if it actually loads. Yeah, so board error report to ID to devs. That's fucking annoying. I go report ID to devs later on. Mm. Take a picture of that. Okay, cool. I don't know. The board might have got corrupted. I still have the page. I can re just re-download the board. Uh, but yeah, so you do you do get those um, flowers. All right. And what would you like to head over there now? Uh, yes. Or okay, um, uh, you head you head over there. Uh, I'm gonna have to fucking I'm gonna have to roll on a different map. You have been sent to a space to boards, a barren place with left because the board you encountered uh, was an error, was deleted, or there is no default board. Excuse me? Default board? No, the default board is the road to Amber Rock Hold. Yeah, I know. I'm just like, why did this fuck up? It's literally, oh, now it works. Okay. Um, Okay. All right, welcome All right. back. Yeah, that was weird. 
Anyways. <laughs> okay. Uh, you go over there um, to the guard, and he lets you in, like you did I last time. I, wait, I want to help out Cheddar before he does this. Uh, All right. I want to cast a minor illusion cantrip on him to enhance his appearance slightly. <laughs> He's not looking for a date. He's not looking I, to get a date. I am doing it. Roll me 2d10. Me? 2D. Or, oh, oh, never mind. My bad. 2d10. One moment. The 0, 0, and the d10. Yeah. Uh, 36. 36? The, 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 what are you trying to turn him into? I'm not necessarily trying to turn him into, I'm just kind of removing a couple little... Well, physically appearing. Uh, yeah. Appearing. The... Enhance the muscles a little bit. <laughs> yeah, the... That's just gonna scare her more. That's just gonna... <laughs> the physical look... features, like, make... um... Just make it look like he showered a little bit. Yeah, like, they, they look <laughs> alright. I don't uh, smell a Up food, close, yeah. they're not... <laughs> you would see right through <laughs> it, but if you stand a couple feet away... Uh, yeah, he looks like kind of a different man. Okay, I'd like to, um, doff all of my armor. Um, I'd like to just doff anything that could be seen as hostile. To my okay. armor, you take um, off. any of my weapons, that'll basically do it. Why off, are man. you guys, why did you make his physical appearance more like, what? I don't know, it makes me less scary? I don't fucking know. <laughs> that, that just makes you more scary. <laughs> What? Yeah, you, you just like you like more like, muscles and stuff. More muscles. <laughs> you look like a menacing armor, man I'm... approaching. <laughs> he's like three feet tall. Armor. Yeah, I'm he, he just looks arm. different. Like he, it's like his facial structure changed a little bit. Uh, yeah, okay. Why don't you make him more cute? <laughs> so with my right arm, I will go ahead and just Is set up the flowers and the vase and everything. And I'll pick up the vase with my right arm, and I'll just carry it in. I'll try and nudge the door open with my fucking with my uh, left side. Does that work? Is the door yep. like a push or? Uh, okay. The door like slowly opens up, and she's just like sitting there reading like a little novel, and she looks up, doesn't notice okay. you, uh, really. Can I like try and like silently like? Is there like a dresser like next to me or close to me at all or something? Yeah, there is. There's uh, okay. there's like a small like half dresser. It, it doesn't look like a full dresser. It just looks like something they can store stuff in for the time being while they're there. Okay, I'd like to place the vase on top of that. Okay. Just very carefully, and then place the letter by, and then leave. All right. Okay. And then I'll put on all my armor and all that stuff back on. Okay. Um. So. You done with that little side quest? Yeah, that little side quest. Okay, so I'm going to go check where the dead drop was, and I'm going to see if it's uh, so if somebody has taken it. Like, not, like, scrummage through the place, like, make it more obvious, <laughs> but just, like, take a peek or so to see if the letters... Yeah. Um, yeah, you go look, and the letter is still there. Oh, fuck's sake. Probably take a while. Will take a while. I, it's honestly, I could have just said we'll go to a thieves' guild uh, the next time, but okay, whatever. I'll leave it there. Hopefully, no other people takes it and just never deliver it. Anyway, we'll find out next time when you look. Yeah. Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. True. Wait, we. So yeah, you guys uh, get ready to head out and. Uh... For towards the mountains where you uh, last heard Joffrey was heading. Um, Presumably, Joffrey. Presumably, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and that's that's where we'll end it for this week. Yeah. So. All right. Oh, we're gonna do the mountain forest. <laughs> mountain forest. Let's go. Okay.